Well, I'll be damned. I didn't know you were a criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <gasps> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. <laughs> Wait for it. Go! about descending into the mouth of hell. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ooh. That's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Well, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? Just sit still and look pretty. The job I was born for. <laughs> so, what are we looking for exactly besides photographing random detritus? Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... Lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. <laughs> gotcha, boss. <laughs> Oof. Try not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Hey! Ah, uh, yes. Abraxas. Those guys really get around. Hurry I'm glad Sophie's having fun. Hate to bring an unappreciative audience to a trespassing. What are you smiling about? Nothing. Looks... Almost like a face. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like 
a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for half a century. <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> then wouldn't that jacket be totally decayed by now? <gasps> mean! This is Kator. <laughs> I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self-portrait. Hail Satan. Hmm, edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies? <laughs> You never know what's out there. Shit worse than goat heads, at least. Won't hear me argue. I've seen my fair share of sh God, I haven't been bowling since I was little. John Whittle's ninth birthday, if I remember. Weird kid. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Fun party, though. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Wow. It looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah. The old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. They must have thought something was worth preserving, back when they closed this place down. So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here, or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. <sighs> there. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Do 
Do gumballs have an expiration date? I'll pass. Is this seizing the means of production? I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aww, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth. And I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? It's not like anybody is going to miss it. Couldn't you steal something that doesn't feast on the tears of orphaned children? <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Aw, oh, hey! My very own Mr. Peanut on meth! Life finds a way. I could never resist a deal. Behold, everyone's least favorite part of bowling. Looks like someone has used this to get around those stairs. One day, I hope to have this many shoes. For sale, bowling shoes. Extremely worn. Shoes? Are shoes lonely? Super lonely. Sans feet. Shoes were the subject of the first photo of mine your mom ever saw. Oh my god! <sighs> this year's Caledon University artist in residence sent my mom foot pics? <laughs> I guess there are just some things about your mom you don't know. Ugh, I'm gonna throw up. <sighs> it was a shot of a messy closet in a condemned house. Someone left behind all their shoes. Your mom loved it. Hypocritical of her considering she never liked it when my closet was messy, but... No thanks, I value my ankles. My money's on one half full Bic lighter to win it all. Oh man, I'm nine years late for my free slice of za. Rewind hasn't worked in years, but still. Old habits die hard. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> you okay? Damn. <laughs> yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant, in case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. How are your parkour skills? What? I said, how are your... What? I said... You're fucking with me, aren't you? 
I'll keep looking. I wish I could do my eyeliner like that. And my hair. Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together. I'm guessing that's the right room. Always wondered what's inside a bowling ball. Turns out it's just more bowling ball. Are you here because I took one of your children? Have I unlocked some foul curse? Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Yes, this is the angle I need. <laughs> wow, ballet service too? This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Oof. Beautiful dismount. Check this out. It's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Oh my god. What? Are you okay? <laughs> oh. I need a drink. Do you need a drink? You read my mind. Uh, turtle? Turtle. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Chloe! Matt. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max, vodka shot for Safi, very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey, you look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. <laughs> so, what are you up to later? <laughs> I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. 
Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? <gasps> Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Wait, you snooped in my wallet? Stop deflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts, okay? High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham? It was a little more complicated than... Can, can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? I mean, we were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. For now. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Ugh, fine, yes. I have a big, stupid crush on a hot girl. So does half a lake port. Amanda's a total catch. Half of Lakeport doesn't have what you have. A softy. I can help you navigate the complicated waters of love. First step, talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay then. Oh. Yep. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. So fucking over him. Like I haven't heard that one. No way. The soup future is in my hands. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. I thought I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker, but clearly someone else has taken the plunge. Ah, undergrads. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting. No more back to start for me. Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars. But I've never seen them hanging out before. How do you do, fellow kids? What brings you two to the turtle tonight? <laughs> Fearless leader put us on duty. Oh, that's right. Must be exciting, being in a secret society. <laughs> yeah. 
very exciting. Join the Abraxas Society where you too can become a prestigious artist and hang posters for Vin's party. <laughs> You'd think he'd have freshmen for that. So why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas, if you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshiping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> I bet you ten bucks she asks her out. I saw what was in your pocket, Reggie. You have no end. Could you at least buy me another beer? When in New England, do as the New Englanders do. How does she make bartending look so easy? Geez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Amanda recommends misery cult, huh? I can work with that. This is for sure upside down. Ah yes, the telltale signs of a 10 coffee all-nighter. Amanda probably knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. All right, I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being. Though I could always get more pickup line ideas. Tell me you've got a terrible pickup line to share. Are you a campfire? Because you're smoking hot and I want some more. <laughs> oh, you're good. All right, I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being. Though I could always get more pickup line ideas. Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? Um. Lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. Too old school. Ugh. Cringe worthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Okay, three pickup lines. That's enough material, right? <laughs> good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Stress this enough. Ha. Huh. Safi says the bands that play here are small but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. I admire commitment to a bit as much as the next girl, but the bit here is just confusing.
gotta love any piece that can make a snowy tree look somehow cozy. Who just does this? Gosh, these are really beautiful. Caledon doesn't have a monopoly on Lakeport's artistic genius, I guess. Think so? I mean, they. Hell yeah, Diamond. Way to go. Okay, three pickup lines. That's enough material, right? Busy night? Ugh. Julie called off, so I haven't gotten a single break all shift. My bladder's about to explode. Go, pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now, you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman. Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. Jeez, Reggie. How do you break three glasses in one week? Mercury must be in retrograde. Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. <laughs> Next time, remember. The class goes on the table. <laughs> oh, my bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. Oh, and I saw you fix the paintings. We're gonna have to put you on payroll. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty amazing. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. So, you're a Misery Cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. Uh, yeah, they're great. The, um, guitar solos, the, vo the vocals. So, you've never heard of them. Ugh, fuck. Busted. Don't hate me, please. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Those photos on the wall over there, is that your family? Yep, all six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm.
Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. How did you? It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass rich kid secret society bites your tongue. I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So? Give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? I know a great way to burn off the calories in that drink. There is something hot about a cute girl using a trashy frat bro line, but it's not gonna get you on the board. So, I was thinking... That we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime? You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a revenge horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a misery cult. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um, ugh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way, but is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. You, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last ten minutes are a total blur. But Amanda's really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max, you have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do?
Let's be honest. I'd probably just put on Return of the Living Dead and eat an entire pizza by myself. Why mess with her teen? She died doing what she loved. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. This is the best you could do? I don't work in this building. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. Mine says I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Well, one out of two ain't bad. I have some good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Moses has hypothermia. I've got income. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill.
wonder if Moses knows how to get Safi to talk. We got some serious graph action going on here. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work, even when he's just crunching numbers. Moses, this is all super cool. Show off a little. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Safi's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules. So it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now. But Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay. Wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. Dang, Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one, and give her a bottle cap instead. Now I've just got to deliver this to Safi. I thought Safi quit smoking. Is she stressed? That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Well, time to put my master plan into action. Nice try, Max. Gwen and her wife are adorable. Eat your heart out, Safi. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm. Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. 
Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, Those are rare. You never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Want a piece of candy? There's a few left. No, oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit. It's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less thready, more talky. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And... A publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safia Llewellyn Fayad speaking. Be right back. So, uh, Return of the Living Dead? What about it? You said you'd watch it while the asteroid hit. Isn't that a zombie apocalypse movie? Return of the Living Dead is a zombie apocalypse masterpiece. I've seen it probably a hundred times. So you're gonna watch a movie about the apocalypse during the apocalypse? Well, yeah. That's why it's a good pick. Why fight the end of the world when you can embrace it? I guess. Look at that! What a tale. Moses was right. This is awesome. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so.
I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. What a perfect night for walking home. I'll just catch up with Safi tomorrow. Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist, I see. Sophie's chain smoking again? Wonder what that call was about. Wow, Sophie. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Another Polaroid? Nice. But who planted the bottle cap? And who took the photo? Wow, Safi. What did Mr. Snowman ever do to you? Now I know who's been leaving all that squirrel gore around campus. <gasps> Don't get to take a shot like this every day. Wow, you're really watching me, aren't you? Max? Hey. hey. Hey, are you okay? Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! Sophie, she seems okay. I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Hang on. Oh, Sophie's fine. For a moment, I thought. Sophie. Safi? Hey. You okay? 
Don't say that! I won't trade you! No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Welcome to the wall, Safi. Shit. Fuck. Damn, Chloe. I thought I lost you. Again. Amazeballs! I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers! You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane! No, Chloe. What's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems. And more heartbreak. If high school Max could see the places I've seen, the people I've met. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. I would 100% retire there. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. A punk band out of Oakland. She was... enthusiastic. We had a huge blow-up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo, and not the fight. Milagros Midwest. A Mexican joint in Iowa, run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought.
fuck. She went through all of that alone. I hate imagining what Yasmin went through writing this post. I wish I'd been there. To hear Sophie read it. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit! I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture-taking frame of mind. It may get panned as schlock, but the Brain Bucket Saga is my break glass in case of depression go-to. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. I've already cried through, like, four boxes of tissues. New personal record. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. How sad is it that this goofy-ass thing reminds me of Sophie? This isn't one of mine. How'd this get here? Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Sophie. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription. Legend has it Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. The 
A Lakeport cop investigating Safi's death. Safi's murder. She kept Moses and I for questioning for hours and hours. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Safi. Mmm, grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick-me-up I've had the last day and change. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. Haven't been down to the dark room in a minute. It's dark enough up here lately. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. Shutterbud420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. This computer's come back more times than Jason Voorhees. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write, let alone to keep that professional tone all the way through. Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here, and I owe it to her to make time should she need it. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and that would have required me to leave the house. doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten. After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's letter to remind myself what I'm even doing here. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but you'd be wrong.
Now to finish up downstairs. Leave it to my very normal brain to respond to my most recent loss by fixating on the last one. One of the last things I got from Chloe. Even years later, this still sucks to read. You always did know how to make every word count, didn't you? Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. All because of me. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. Oh, better clean those up too. Oh, Joyce. We lost you in the storm. Chloe never really looked at me the same after she found out. Born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park did not disappoint. Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Hey, Max. I'm here. Not sure if the doorbell worked. I should let Amanda in before she freezes. It's a lovely weather we're having out here, but it's probably nicer indoors. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. <laughs> She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago. And now... I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to... I mean, she was just... I appreciate 
you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. <laughs> Wowzers. What? It's a common turn of phrase. You're the one making it dirty. I, I plead innocent. Oh, so you're just going to tweet through it then? <laughs> I won't be speaking further without my lawyer present. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. I can handle it. I've dealt with tough shit before. But I can't handle it. And it's not what either of us needs. At least, not right now. Trust me. Now how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? How about another one? Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? Oh. oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. I'm incredibly sorry for your loss. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Sadly, I have. It 
doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter bomb. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. Graffiti Rock looks so... naked. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed oh. off. Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Shit's all yours if you want it. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> Kinda seems like the whole campus is. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. You saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough. But it was honest. <laughs> You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. Society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a... key of Braxis virtue. The eye for detail. Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot?
This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. Whoa. No shit. An eye for detail, huh? And? A second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Just all why I'm here to help everyone feel safe. You know what I think would actually help a lot if we all just knew a little bit more about what that's what's... Loretta something. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? I'll head over to Admin to see Yasmin soon. You don't, I guess. But it's down to just us and our assassins. If we could wonder twins this shit, we could clean up. Right. Not sure I'd leave my stuff lying around like this. Oh, Loretta must have left this to finish uploading. Damn. Girl's got a lot of fans. Is that a penguin head in the spokes? Okay, Yasmin's office is down the hall. Hey, Jack. 
I should probably write something, even if I can't find the right words. Finn Lang. Total mystery. What kind of title is administrative assistant, anyway? Howdy, Vin. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues, but she was an amazing person and we're all gonna miss her. Issues? What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha. Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the hall? Maybe I can help. Gwen? All good? Uh... Max... I, uh... So... I'm a hugger. Um... Are you a hugger? 
world champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God, I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Definitely. I just need to find the right tool. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. These are all by current or former faculty? Now I feel like a slacker. That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. This is definitely easier than breaking into the case. Everyone, students, faculty, staff. Gwen? I uh, found another copy of your book in the stacks. Will that work instead? Oh, uh, thanks, Max. It's just, uh... Well, it's just the one in the case is a 10th anniversary edition. It has a new introduction from the author. Hey, uh, you need the one in the case? You got it. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have to be so stone-faced all the time. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just... Caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises.
Hold on now. You might feel a slight pinch. Holy shit! You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? Actually, she said she had a finished book, and that a publisher had made an offer. Why? You're kidding! Oh, good for her. She must have been proud as hell. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Hey, Max. Moses, I... Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been... Can it wait? I'm like... A husk right now. I... I need a minute. Yeah. Sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate, and... I'll find you when I'm done? I can do that. I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Sounds like the cops aren't being very helpful. Can't say I'm surprised. Yes. <laughs> well, they're the only thing at my disposal. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... Difficult? Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well, not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Sofia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes 
The people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. I've been awaiting your call. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. No, it's an important meeting. We shouldn't push it. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts? That's a rare privilege. We should set a time to do more thorough preparations as well. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi cared so much about everything she did. Her passion should live on. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yes, I've looked them over already. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Your true crime show? That's a little bit of a loaded term. I just think people deserve to know the truth. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, 
You were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um. You're asking about Safi? Why? It's a reasonable question, considering you were the last person to see her alive. I... Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta, I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Leave me alone. You know, I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? I might as well pack it all in at once. Gwen did just tell me to stay out of her way. Does that mean she really is up to something? Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. Moses seemed more Moses. He seemed so out of it. I don't even think he got his hot chocolate. I don't even know where to start. I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. 
Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. I swear it. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words, words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Carmonero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. Safi hated his guts. It can be anything. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. Ugh, Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up, or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. At the end of the street, I pause to catch my- Jeez, what a dick. Beyond the overgrown grass and the fallen bird's nest. Max. Good to see you. Who knew you were so self-centered? Dick move. Paying tribute to my colleague? Seems like you're paying tribute to Lucas Colmenero. You were close with Safi too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? Yeah, I think I could share a thing or two. I knew Safi well, and This would have been a total nightmare for her. The self-seriousness of it all would have made her skin crawl. She would have stood there and made the dumbest faces you've ever seen. Just to get me to laugh. The fact that she isn't here right now to fuck with us. It's not fair. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck.
Poor Moses. He really hasn't been the same since that night. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting him up? We both knew it wouldn't. What I really wanted was to see Sophie shut him up. <laughs> God, can you even imagine? Mm. Hey, I have a question about Sophie. Okay. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh, yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence. You know? Hey, Max. Yeah? I'm gonna use present tense. For just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just... A little longer. Okay. I think I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? <laughs> no, no. You want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Blue's more tactical. Moses? It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color jack can beat any other with the right cards. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? I come in peace. Declare your allegiance. Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get a hot cocoa. That's it. Snowball down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Where is that other Moses going?
gotta keep following that other Moses. I need to figure out what's going on. Where is that other Moses going? What are you doing out here? Your final's in five minutes. I'm not the one taking it. It's time for our Coco. Safi? You're hopeless. These poor kids pay tuition. Hey, I have a five-star rating on teacher rating. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch at the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you're charging the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. <sighs> it's too cold for this. That really was Safi. I think I have to get to her. Max, if you're not here in the next five minutes, I'm going to tell Moses that you don't watch his Blu-rays. Bye! If she could just hear me like I can hear her. Saucy! I'm right here! Right in front of you! Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. What the fuck is happening?
Well, it doesn't sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I... Did I actually manage to rewind time? Max, are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. No, I'm just... really happy you're here with me. And your mom. So, drugs then? Sorry, uh... What were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Hmm, yes. I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. And yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Right! Your book! The secret book! I'm so proud of my girl. Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. No one going to take our order? It's been like a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? I can go ask what the holdup is, Yasmin. No sweat. See? That is so thoughtful of you, Maxine. No need. A whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. Come on, Yasmin. You don't have anywhere else to be? I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What is that? Oh shit. Dude. Your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. How is Sophie posting right now?
glad we did this. This? This lunch. We do it every weekend. I know. Did you do any campus activities when you were in school? No, I'll... Wow. I thought you got lost in a blizzard. Dropped your phone down a bottomless pit. Something. Uh, lost? No. You're right, I'm being passive aggressive. Sorry. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kinda sucked is all. Oh, so... so I asked you out. I mean, that's how I interpreted it when you stood there two nights ago and said you wanted to go on a date. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So, I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit! This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship. Because Safi isn't dead. So, are you gonna tell me what happened? I drank, like, way too much the other night. I've been in kind of a state. For two days? <laughs> Were you kids mixing liquor and paint thinner? I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same, except... I was hoping my nosebleed days were behind me. It feels connected to that humming. And whatever caused it. Wait, you mean entirely close? Apparently, whoever broke into the bowling alley totally trashed the place. There's glass everywhere. Holy shit. Now where are the 12 year olds gonna do parkour? Hopefully somewhere with less tents. Gender-neutral bathrooms. We love to see it. Holy shit. I'm... I'm back, aren't I? In... Dead world. This is so fucking crazy. My gut tells me it's not good news. Because why would it be? How could Vin mix me up with Safi?
It's just so sad. You didn't even... Oh shit, this is the Amanda I talked to this morning? Max, you're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? I'm okay. You really cheered me up earlier. Happy to lend out my comedic stylings to girls in need. <laughs> Thanks. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Oh, yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. Another Polaroid from our mystery photographer. Except... No, Tony, I love it. I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. No, no buts. Only... I know you. If you sent me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. I hate that the Krampus kiss isn't unsettling. It's fun. But honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You love them. Right. Next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, Tony. I mean it. Love you back, babe. Whoa. Am I hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses in the Snapping Turtle, though. This makes no sense. Another Yasmin. OG Yasmin? She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh... I understand. Okay, so I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Safi and Yasmin are probably wondering where I am. I should get back to them. I wonder what they're prepping for. It's like Christmas, but not Christmas. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? Do you like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. Another newbie. Hope you come. What a calamity. They can entertain each other. They've had years of practice. I still can't believe Safi is here. Alive. Having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. 
In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. <sighs> You'll never catch me alive. I swear, one day I'll get a candidate of Safi. Honestly, Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. Oh, I'm golden. Probably just the weather, you know? Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Another piece of shit pie. Someone... Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Jesus. Fuck, Safia. Is that your car? Charming, right? I found it this morning. Do you have any idea who did it? No. But if I ever find out, it's on site. They couldn't have picked a fight with the Volvo instead? This is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. You have. It's from right over there. <sighs> Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. Looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know I adore you, but read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rathi. She's gone. Oh, tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. Hold up. Sophie's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other, right? Impossible. Oofa doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. There she is, safe and sound. Fuck, size does matter. I'm going to have to find a way to get up there. I'm pretty sure I just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Come on, Mom. I'm supposed to see through your invulnerable mom mask as I age. I like that you took drugs. Safia, Maxine is here. She's my employee. What? You can have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you used to do? Legally? Yes. What crazy system is running this country?
Is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh shit. Did Lucas smash Sophie's windshield? He's a dick, but I don't know if he's a property damage level dick. But why would anyone else bother snapping his name off? Weird. This is weird. I wonder if anyone at the Snapping Turtle saw the whole thing go down. Look forward to seeing you there. Hey, Amanda. I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? Occasionally. On a leap year. The whole year, or just February 29th? Now who's asking weird questions? <sighs> All right, hit me then. What's the question? Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. Um, that's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Ha! <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? I mean, have they never heard of a brick? When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did you know it had Lucas's name on it? Who? Oh, Colmenero. That makes sense. He's the one who donated it. Seriously? Why a cow skull? I have no idea. I'm, like, physically incapable of listening to that dude when he talks. Did you see him in here last night? Lucas? I don't think so. Why? You think he broke into the turtle to, what, steal back his cow skull? I didn't say it was a good theory. Did you see anything... Suspicious. I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. Fuck, I need to think. What is going on?
What if it's not just a prank? What if this Safi is in danger too? I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Find the Skull Rustler, save Safi, hopefully. And my best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vin's the head honcho of Abraxas. I could start with him. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwyn Hunter too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. Time to start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves. Wise words. I need to ask around about Safi's car. I can probably find Gwen in her office. And I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Alexa, you cool? You look a mess. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, just... Jeez, Lucas looks exhausted. Too bad, I've got questions. Max. Sorry. Busy, busy. Um... Need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just... put Robbie on. Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's... father. Who fucking cares, right? How can you say... Whoa. Oh. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. 
I need to get in that briefcase. Instant lock opening powers would be great. In the meantime, I have to find that key. <sighs> his notes are great. No wonder his classes are always full. Going to the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Robbie. Two Lucases and two briefcases means two keys. Robbie, I got a split. Uh-huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yeah. Lucas seems to be on great terms with his family. Hey. Bye. Lucas. Max, can't imagine it would be much fun to assassinate my character without an audience. I wasn't going to stand by while you used Sophie to pump yourself up. Wow. I never had a chance with you, did I? Not with Sophie in your ear. She never really mentioned you. <sighs> I find that hard to believe. That's a lot of books. A lot of my book. Signed copies for the Burlington Book Expo. They invited me to deliver the keynote this year. Have you seen the standee they put up of me? Can't say I have. Huh. Yeah, I might have to reposition it then. The standards for the expo it really declined over the years. <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can talk. It's a shame. How am I going to get that key? years and years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Good luck with the book expo. Done any more work on that proposal yet? It's funny you say that, because I was just thinking about backburnering it. Huh. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? The classics are classics for a reason. Goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. She returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. Yep, something delivered. So, not to be the bearer of bad news, but... Somebody drew horns in a tail on your book, Expo Standee. Are you serious? I just put that... Come on! Some people just have no respect for other people's property. Come on, stupid marker.
Lucas's famous book. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Lucas was with his agent last night, not the snapping turtle. He couldn't have vandalized Sophie's car, so who did? No point in looking through Lucas's stuff now, satisfying though it is. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Did Lucas go to a gun range? Does Lucas have a gun? That damn cow skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? His agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? Park where he wants anyway. Guess this Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Sophie? Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Max? What are you... Lucas, this isn't... You can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. Please. Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it... It makes me sick to think about. Any chance your ex was exaggerating? Trying to twist the knife? Catherine's... A lot. But she loves that kid as much as I do. She wouldn't use him like that. He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think it was Safi? Listen, Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Wait. Why would Robbie trust Zofi? Does he even know her? She used to babysit for us, believe it or not. Robbie adored her. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Zofi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. 
Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but... Just give me a chance to get this shit in order first. Without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. One big smear campaign against Safi. But... Oh, what if it's not? You're right. I have no reason to believe you over her. You're not as good of a person as you like to pretend, Caulfield. Maybe you and Safi deserve each other. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Should try Gwen's office next. Can you give me a second? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all just I guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going that. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. So this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. I'm going to read this, I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Damn, talk about a green thumb. Gwen's wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. With the way they hustled Gwen out, I don't think these students are getting their grades anytime soon. Whoa, Reggie got an A minus? Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a bee. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. You reap what you sow, Loretta. Oh! You're other Loretta, aren't you? Oh well.
You would never do... What, Gwen? What is this about? Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Oh my god, an answering machine, as I live and breathe. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Boss Bitch, and the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? Babe. Babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Figure this out. Oh my god, an answering machine. Um, Dr. Hunter, this is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um, I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be canceled for the rest of the semester, and I just wanted to check up and see if you're alright. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but. I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. I don't want to hear excuses or lies. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. Fiction, non-fiction, poetry, plays, bunch of scenes. Is there anything Gwen doesn't read? Live fast, eat ass. Wise words, whatever they mean. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. Between Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? This is the book I got for Gwen. Wait, what's sticking out from between the pages? So Gwen is asking questions about Sophie's death. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. These emails are from way back. Like, before Safi knew she wanted to be a poet.
I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Looks like Gwen's a popular girl. Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences. You know I do, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staff meeting. You should get the call from Vin later today. Hey, babe. Just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fyatt's office. I'm just calling to confirm an all-hands staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Attendance is, unfortunately, mandatory. Gwen, I hope you didn't. <sighs> I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Gwen is guilty of plant neglect. Although, I can't really blame her, considering the week we've all had. Drink up, buddy. If Safi was an undergrad, this reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? This thing looks older than Caledon. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. You would never do... Gwen canceled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? All right, Hacker Max, let's go. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Wait, this is Safi's publisher. Gwen got Safi's book canceled? These emails are from way back, like before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. I thought Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she? No, this all has to add up. 
Somehow. I should cross over and start asking questions. Whoever fucked with Safi's car isn't just gonna out themselves. If living Safi could see this, I bet she'd be mortified. It's all so... earnest. Things are good, sir. All's quiet on the North Quad. What did I say about movie references? Keep that shit to myself. Right. Sorry. I need to get to the other timeline. It's freezing. I can't believe you dragged me outside for this. First of all, they're way too big to be... This world's Ven also seems to enjoy an audience. And, uh, don't get cute, either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well? Go! Find it! Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Like you were never young. <laughs> young, yes. Dumb, maybe. Insufferable, never. Never is certainly a word. You lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension, etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What does Vin have them looking for? 
Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Stopping you from dressing like this. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Art student prank or horrifying creature, the world may never know. Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh guys? It's like an ex -fill. They have our man and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Hey there. What did Vin put oh, these guys uh, up to? Hey. You know, if you want to ask Diamond out, I can introduce you. I'm 70% sure she doesn't bite. How about I put in a good Vin word seems and seems really tell distracted. Me Vin's missing. Whatever he lost good must talk. be important. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Good cop, bad cop is going to be the way to... Oh. I should see what those Abraxas goons are up to. Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Kick us out of the Braxis. But when we find it, you'll have to move us up the ranks, right? Those Abraxas kids think Diamond took Vin's phone. Maybe I can get some answers from her about Vin's missing phone. So, if you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's cause someone stole Vin's phone. Oh, seriously? <laughs> they think it was me? Of course! <laughs> so, was it you? Here I was thinking they didn't let artists in residence join Abraxas. I'm not. And in yet you're over here digging through my business on Vin's orders? 
take it that's a no. That's correct, Max. I didn't steal Vin Lang's phone. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Lang mold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. If we could just get him away from it. You ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. I would love to. So, are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? To hear him tell it? Both. And to hear you tell it? Vin is... one of those yappy little purse dogs who swears he's a pit. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey, if you talk to Vin again, tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his crown. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, zero clues. I just knew who to ask. And how. <laughs> so, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after seven. And I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. That's whiskey? <laughs> yes. But damn, do I have so much to teach you. So your place or mine? Sounds like a profoundly underwhelming evening. Oh. Don't knock it till you've tried it. <laughs> so... Someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? It's esoteric enough to feel like the handiwork of your, uh, organization. <laughs> A cow skull. <laughs> what are we, Leonard Skinner? Come on, this one is way outside our wheelhouse. Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. certainly seemed performative. And anonymous. What would even be the point? And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say anything about our windshield. Wild, right? Mm. I'd love to keep chatting and freezing my balls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Ben, what did you do?
Hope Vin's back at his desk now. I still have questions for that guy. Time to follow up with Vin about that windshield slip. Let's see if I can't make this canary sing. This must belong to someone flashy and forgetful and cold. Guess Vin found his phone. Hey, you found it. Kudos. Max. Sorry to startle, just... That was good luck, finding it so fast. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I just left it on my desk. It's been that kind of day. <laughs> yeah. Did something happen to your phone while it was lost? Huh? Oh, um, no, it's fine. I just can't get it unlocked. Fuck. It's gonna lock if I get it wrong again. Wait. You can't remember your own code? <sighs> I am, like, extremely hungover. You're lucky I can remember who you are. You seem fine out on the quad. I set the code to the year some old fucking magician scientist died. It slipped my mind. Magician scientist? <laughs> Abraxas shit. I must have thought it was cool at the time. I, can you just... I don't know. I'm not at my best right now. Sure. Vin is definitely hiding something. Getting into that cell phone is my best shot at finding out what. Too hungover to remember a passcode? Jeez. Good thing I know another Vin. I know what they're doing. My grief isn't affecting my brain. No. I think we all feel a bit busted sometimes. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. Jeez. Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Two identical VINs mean two identical passcodes, right? Maybe looks like this VIN is taking a break. Pick a card, any card, or whatever.
fucking shit. Oh. Oh. Max. <laughs> it's just you. Huh? What can I do you for? What do you mean, it's just me? Well, <laughs> there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You, Miss Caulfield, are not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. Join me. How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> Is this about Safi? <sighs> Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy, Max. Far be it for me to pass up an opportunity to accrue more sexy points. <laughs> uh, measuring sexiness with imaginary points. Not sexy. <sighs> Minus five sexy points to me, then. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't we be hanging out on the train tracks? That's where all the kids drank in high school. <laughs> You're from the Pacific Northwest, aren't you? What's that like? A little damp. Occasionally torrential. What did you do when you weren't drinking on the train tracks? Took pictures, mostly. And? I swear, I'm not that interested. <laughs> I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I like you, Max Caulfield. You feel haunted. What? <laughs> don't worry, it's good. Uh, haunted people are. Interesting. Maybe on TV. In real life, haunted people live inside their haunted brains. Yeah. They do. <sighs> I actually really needed that. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Sharing is caring. <laughs> hey, uh, Ben? Can I ask for something kind of weird? Ooh, I don't do foot stuff. Damn. <laughs> well, there goes my Friday night. <laughs> Vin does owe me a favor. I have a question. Do you know anything about a dead magician scientist? Jack Parsons, occultist rocket scientist? Oh, maybe. What about him? Nothing, really. I just. They killed him, you know. Just like JFK. Oh. What, um, year did that happen? Hey, any more questions and I'll have to charge you. <sighs> right, of course. Jack Parsons, surely this place is a book on him somewhere. up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. 
See what? Okay, Encyclopedia. Do you have a certain occultist rocket scientist for me? Okay, let's see. No Jack Parsons here. Do I have to spell it out for you? You're describing every paranormal phenomenon ever. Jack Parsons was a magic y rocket scientist. So maybe he's in here? Come on, show me Jack Parsons. Alistair Crowley. Nope. Pretty sure Myvin said Jack Parsons was an occultist. So, history of the occult seems like a pretty safe bet. Here we go. Jack Parsons was found dead in the destroyed remains of his personal laboratory in 1952. Thanks, Mr. Parsons. Sorry about you getting blown up and all. Guess Ven's not here. Hmm. Not totally sure how to read these, but I don't like the look of that tower card. Very macabre chic. But I guess that's Ven's brand. A Krampus of your very own. Looks like Finn takes it black. Wow, Yasmin wiped out her whole schedule for this disciplinary hearing of Gwen's. Yikes. Aw, what a cute little guy. Huh. This one's not broken. He won a drama award. Shocker. Sweet. Now he can unlock his phone. I hope this is the right code. Ah, success. I'm sorry, Vin. I know this is a brutal misuse of powers, but I need to know if you had anything to do with this. Food pics? Food pics? Mirror selfie? Mirror selfie? Shirtless mirror selfie? Sophie? 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 There's a lot of Safi in here. I didn't get the impression they were close. Oh my god. Wow, that is really close. Who even were you, Safi? I really thought I could help. Poke around a little, figure out who has it out for Safi. Bada bing, bada boom. Case solved, right? Why else would my powers come back? Stupid. Now I have more impossible questions than I had to begin with. Lucas filing a restraining order? Vin and Safi sleeping together? Gwen killing Safi's book deal? I have no idea what any of it means. And the worst part is, I can't even talk to you about any of it. I 
won't be able to save you. Again. Whatever I do, it's going to turn out worse than I could even imagine. Get the fuck off me! I can't breathe! Everyone stay back. Give him some space. He's having a panic attack or something. I'm not I... fucking crazy. I know what I saw up there. All right, an authority figure has arrived. Sort of. Nothing to worry about. Let's give him some space. Can you run and get him some water? You okay, Reggie? <laughs> Am I okay? Fuck. <sighs> After what I just saw up there. Reggie, up where? <sighs> the fucking overlook. Yes, I know. I shouldn't have been up there. I'm a fucking idiot. <sighs> it's okay. I'm not mad. I just want to know what you were doing up there. Remember in your seminar how you said we should take photos of things that scare us? <sighs> well, A plus for following directions then. Now, you want to tell me what you saw? I saw myself. Another me, walking around, working on the puzzle box, the, the one that I gave you earlier. What did this other you want? I wasn't gonna fucking talk to him, I fucking ran, Max. Did you tell anyone what you saw? Did you tell... Loretta, thank you. Can you take Reggie to the infirmary? Sure thing, Miss Caulfield. I'll see you later, yeah? Just make sure he's all right. Thanks, Max. Time to go back up there. I can handle this. He's not just gonna let me by, is he? Better start heading up to the Overlook. Hope there's a place to cross back over on the way. This looks a lot like Sophie's favorite candy, but hers is called Sour Cats, not Heart Stoppers.
This goes against everything I learned in horror movies, but I should check for more weird shit. Good news. Uh, it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. Why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right oh, now? Right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? The vibes here are way off. I should look into why. The bigger the art project, the more of the path it blocks when it falls. From here, I should be able to make it up to the Overlook. I've left my phone in some bizarre places, but never this bizarre. Hello? Hello? This is Safi. Yes, this is Safi and Lil Fayad. Speaking. Shit! <laughs> She had a panic attack. Any more unexplainable things the universe would like to throw at me today? Say what you will about his personality, but dude can compose an eloquent threat. Last time I saw this Gwen, she was being escorted out of the building. I should ask her about Sophie's book deal. Hey, Gwen. Thanks. Careful there, Pineapple Express. Shit. Did pot get stronger since I was in school? Before I came out, I had this boss. A free thinker. Who adopted his worldview wholesale from shouty YouTubers. Yikes. 
and a raging transphobe to boot. They're brainwashing our kids, blah, blah, blah. And of course, I was afraid if I said something, said anything, he'd figure me out. But when I was alone, I could conjure the perfect soliloquy to shut him up. Make him feel as small as he made me. Isn't there, like, a special word for that? In French, right? L'esprit de l'escalier. The wit of the staircase. I take it you're acquainted. Oh, yeah. That one's a Max Caulfield greatest hit. Point is, I've always been able to think of something to say eventually. But what do you say about something like that? Gwen, what is this? Video proof. Allegedly. From Yasmin herself. Trafficking of a controlled substance on campus. Hold on. There's no way Yasmin thinks you were selling drugs. How could she not? That there is security footage of someone who looks like me, dealing to students. Someone who looks like you? This is such bullshit. Can't you fight it? Fight it? How? That wasn't me, it was my evil twin. No. No. Fuck it. They've already made up their minds. You don't mean that. Thanks for believing in me, Max, but... I'm sick of fighting to prove I deserve to be here. Lucas shouting at his son? Reggie seeing himself here in the other timeline? Is Gwen another victim of doppelganger-itis? Or is she just trying to cover her ass? If I could look at that footage, maybe I could figure it out. Gwen? What are you... What are you doing? Saying goodbye. And... Fuck you! Caledon to Yasmin and to feeling powerless. Gotta take catharsis where you can get it. What the fuck? Gwen, listen, if I can just get a look at this footage, I might be able to help. I didn't ask for your help, Max. Jesus, I didn't even ask for your company. I just wanted to get stoned and watch that thing burn. <sighs> Whatever. Do what you want. It's too cold for this shit. Gwen, wait. I need to ask you something. Why did you kill Safi's book deal? Were you going through my computer? What? No, she... She told me, but not why. Jesus. Now, let's see if I can find what Reggie saw. Or thinks he saw. Did something used to be here? I can't remember. What the fuck? Oh!
Oh, Miss Caulfield, you, uh, out for a stroll too? Loretta, isn't there somewhere else you could be right now? I'm sure there is, but nowhere as exciting as this place, huh? How did you even get past the officer? How did you? <sighs> Holy shit, what are those? You can see those? Yeah. Do you think this is what Reggie saw? That's not really mine to share. I, I'm not trying to... I just want to make sure he's okay. Honest. He will be. I think. I was gonna come up here anyway after the suicide tip, but... Seeing Reggie like that, I don't know, made it feel real. Wait, suicide tip? One of the beat cops let us slip. You run a successful podcast for a few years and you find ways to get people to open up. Speaking of opening up, I got a lead. I could cut you in. One second, I'm a source, and the next, I'm a fellow investigator? Sounds like there's strings attached. No, it's not like that. I just... I feel like I kind of owe you after the whole Dr. Hunter thing. Maya Okada, one of Safi's classmates during undergrad. They were friends. Then... Maya died a couple years back. Suicide. Apparently. You think it's a pattern? Maybe. Yeah. Two promising young writers, both dead, both by their own hand, according to official sources. But Safi didn't kill herself. Like I said, a pattern. Maybe. Explain something to me. Why is this so important to you? Safi was my friend. Because I hate it when things don't make sense. I have to go. I got your text. Tried calling, but you didn't pick up. It's cool, Max. Everything's cool. It's not cool, though. It is not. So what's the damage? TLDR version? Pretty sure I'm the number one suspect. What? Why? Besides that being true for most of my life? Well, I did... I did do something. I took Sophie's camera.
I know. Moses, why did you- It wasn't like a rational decision. I wasn't thinking. I just... When we found her that night, I saw the camera. And I thought the last picture she took in her life was that selfie of the three of us. And Safi would never want to have that camera, that picture, in the hands of the fucking police. So I brought it back to my office. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? That's evidence in a murder case. So I just hid it in there. In my office. Moses! I screwed up, Max. And now I don't know what to do. All right. Maintenance tech is on his way to... Unlock your office, Mr. Murphy. Then I'll just have a look around inside. Shit! I've got to get Sophie's camera out of there. Somehow. Unless you have a key card. Miss Caulfield. Are you with the police? Don't you need a warrant to search my friend's office? Max, please chill. Vincent Alderman, Vermont State Police Detective. I'm the new lead investigator on your friend's case. In this instance, Dr. Fayad has granted permission to search any property belonging to Caledon. I'm pretty sure you still need a warrant. Universities don't own all the equipment in this- Just drop it, Max. Miss Caulfield, I do need you to leave the area for the time being. Will you be okay? Mr. Murphy will be fine. I'll come back. Promise. Okay. Now's my chance to get into Moses' office. Where's a place I can shift to the other timeline? Maybe I can find a way into Moses' office from this side. Hey, maybe this Moses can help me find the camera. Oh, hey, Max. Man, that's annoying. How do you stand it? <laughs> You'd be surprised how quickly you get used to it. I think they call that Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> uh-huh. So, what's up? Actually, I need to ask you kind of a weird question. My favorite kind. Name it. What is your most prized possession? In here, at least. In here? Uh, probably that mug. 
My sister made it for me as an early Christmas gift. Oh, that's sweet. Remind me not to get you any mugs for Christmas. Kinda left field, but if you were gonna hide something personal in this lab, where would you put it? If this is about my dream diary, trust me, you'll never find it. I'd never bring it to campus. Okay, maybe not that personal, but remind me to come back to that. Not on your life. Okay, name something in here you wouldn't want, say, Dr. Fia to find. Like something I keep locked away? Yes, yes, exactly. That would definitely be my electric kettle. <laughs> Maintenance has no idea where I hide that fire hazard. As I live and breathe, Moses Murphy, rule breaker. I, rule bender, Max, rule bender. Anyway, <laughs> what's with all the questions? Oh. Moses, you need me to hold something or can I help somehow? Actually, yeah, I need an Allen wrench. On it. Um, got one around here? No, I borrowed one from Carla, but I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. Okay. I can't go looking around for Carla. I need a faster way to get Moses a wrench. That's still annoying. I bet Moses covered his bedroom with bees as a kid. No one's been here for days. That's new. Okay. I need to get that Allen wrench, and I need to be quick. This is my handwriting. Wait, am I the mystery photographer? Is, is this from some other timeline? Uh, what? Bitch, you did not just- Relax. It was a picture of the mugs you two were drinking out of. Good. Ugh, oh, I would rather murder all my students with my bare hands than grade one more final. Oh no, were you two up all night? Yeah, and I'll be working on these astronomy finals until sundown. What I'd give to be pulling an all-nighter grading papers instead of all of this. Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. Better give this wrench to Moses. This must have been dropped off while Moses was out. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> you are a lifesaver, Max. Dad joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. And you're welcome. Mural goes here. What's that about? Safi's baby. She had the bright idea that we should draw the Gemini twins up there. Why haven't you? You know Safi. 
She has like a million little projects half started everywhere. Anyway, I'm sure we'll get to it at some point. We have all the time in the world. So, did you want some tea? Um, yeah, if you don't mind. W with the contraband kettle, right? Just give me just a second. Sure. So the cabinet is a secret hiding spot. Let's hope the other Moses hid the camera in the same place. Will it distract you if I talk? Should be fine. What's up? So, the mural. What's the story there? I made the mistake of telling Safi I used to want to be a comic book artist, as she found a project that would force me to draw. Hmm. We're going to use my star projector to trace the constellation and then draw the twins around it. And... Gemini? What's the significance? Really? I chose it because there are two of us and we'd be working on it together. But Safi imbued it with meaning. The scientist and the poet. Duality. She sells it better than me. That telescope. How long have you been working on it? A couple of days. Why? Is there anything special about it? A better question would be, what isn't special about it? Misunderstood in its heyday, due in part to its experimental lens design, it's only now being lauded as the revelation it is. Underestimated and later appreciated. May we all be so lucky. <laughs> I'll let you get back to it. Oh my god, stop! All of Moses' friends are nerds, huh? No wonder he gets along with me so well. This note wasn't here in the other timeline. That can't be a coincidence. Is this where he hid Sophie's camera? Come on! How long does it take to bring a damn key? Okay, the camera might be under a safe. Where can I find this safe? Hmm. It'd be better from another angle. I remember her wearing this earlier that night. My birthday gift to Moses. I could tell how badly he wanted to say, but the moon doesn't emit its own light. Oh, Moses, what a horrible reminder. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, 
I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. For astronomers who hate the outdoors. Moses and Safi. So different and yet so well suited. Love this cozy little donut corner. I thought I'd never hear another dirty joke about this thing. But Safi's alive here. God, I bet every sad poem she ever wrote is being used to justify the suicide angle. Harold's dishes. I've heard so many jokes about this mysterious office mate that I don't know what's true in there. Oh, why is it so happy? Mac is cute. They're all cute, really. Hey, Moses. Another strange question. Um, you don't have a safe in here, do you? The locking kind? No. Are there non-locking safes? Well, for a second, I thought you were asking about the star safe. S-A-I-P-H. There's a star called safe. Sure is. It's a part of the Orion constellation. What the? You've been popcorned. <laughs> Engineering wants a prank war. I'm trying not to sink to their level. <laughs> Gonna go clean this out. So Moses hid the camera under a star. And of course, there are stars everywhere. That's still annoying. Come on, Moses. Where did you hide it? And they're safe on the lower left. They're safe! Please let this mean I'm one step closer to the camera. At least Moses hid the camera well, wherever it is. If the tea kettle was a fire hazard, I guess a heat lamp is out of the question. The mural. 
Moses must have projected some stars to use as a guide. Moses said safe is part of Orion. Maybe Orion was projected on the wall that night. I need to set this up exactly how Moses had it when he was drawing. I think I got it. Fingers crossed I can find safe on that wall. One of those stars on the wall has got to be safe. So if this is Orion, then safe is... Boom! Good job finding safe, Max. Why, thank you, Max. Now then. No, no, no! Shit, I can't let him see me in here. I'm so close to getting Safi's camera. If I can just distract him for a few minutes, I think I can grab it. I'll need something noisy. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. The mezzanine would be the perfect place to set this off. I just gotta make it up there. I need to get up to the mezzanine. Here goes. What the hell? And now I need to shift out of here fast. Time to finally get what I came here for in the first place. Hey! Is someone down there? Stupid telescope! Why couldn't Moses have put you together in this timeline? Fuck. Fuck. 
that's... That's new. Yes! Holy shit! The telescope and all the parts... switched places. Gotta run. Sorry, I... I'll text you. Yo... What?! Moses. Miss Caulfield, can I speak with you for a minute? You should go. Please, have a seat. I just wanted you to have a chance to talk to me alone. Because Miss Llewellyn was a close friend of yours. We have a sensitive situation. We know Miss Llewellyn's camera was taken by someone closely linked to her death. Now, I'm pretty certain I know who took it and why. Maybe you've even guessed my thinking. But if we're going to make any progress on your friend's case, that's not enough. Therefore, I'm asking you, if you have or come by any information about this person or where they've taken the camera, can I trust you to let me know? Miss Caulfield. Sure. Of course. If I notice anything, I'll let you know. I'm glad to hear it. And I'm sure Dr. Fayed would be grateful as well. Now that is my direct number. No detail is too small to share. You're, you're not bothering me. You're helping your friend's case. Thanks again for your time, Miss Caulfield. Have a good day. Moses, I want to show you something. We don't have to talk about. Look. How? Okay, let's download Safi's photos onto your computer, yeah? Or... You go ahead. I need a minute to get my thoughts in order. I'll join you soon. Okay. Hmm. 
Wait, is that? Wilder Beasts Than These by Lucas Colmanero. <laughs> Figures there'd be copies all over campus. Might as well add it to my collection of so-called clues. I picked up so many things today. Best lay it all out and see if it gets me anywhere. Ugh, she's got a sixth sense for bugging me at the absolute worst time. Oh, Neb. You have such sage eyes. God, I know you're not a magic eight ball, but can you pretend? Is all this gonna turn out okay? Outlook not so good? Shit, Neb. I could have told you that. I can't remember when it's been this clean, but it'd be the perfect place to put all my, uh, evidence. Okay, Max. Let's see what we've got. This was meant to be a loud message, but from who? And what does it mean? I still don't understand why Gwen would do this to Sophie. Especially since she helped her get the book deal in the first place. Lucas, I really don't think he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield. But there's clearly more bad blood here than I knew about. 
While I do want to see this so-called incriminating footage of Gwen, it's probably best to wait till Moses leaves to check it. I probably shouldn't leave all this out in the open. Maybe if I step away for a bit, these will all make sense later. Hope Moses is doing alright. I should go see if he's gotten Sophie's camera hooked up yet. Moses? You okay? Is it weird that I'm low-key nervous? About seeing Safi's, you know, final pictures? Far from it. Safi was special to us. To everyone. But I meant, are you okay, okay? I've been better. I didn't have the option not to cooperate, Moses. Not really. I had to say something. Yeah, you did. And chose to say yes. Hey, look. Maybe seeing Safi again will help clear the air. Hard to believe that would be the last time we were all together. That's the truth. What a crew we were. Hey, look. She took one more photo. Sneaky girl. What is this? Max, you... You killed her? What? No! Of course not! So that... that... It's Photoshop! A deep fake, maybe. I don't know. You sold me out to Alderman. You were covering for yourself. No, Moses. Please. Let me explain. Or try to. Well? I have these... Powers. Time powers. And somehow Safi's death is related to those powers. Wait! I can prove it to you! You stay the fuck away from me! <laughs>
How is it already morning? This makes about as much sense as it did last night. Let's take a look at the evidence for the kajillionth time. I've got to be missing something. No matter what that photo of me suggests, there's no way I shot Sophie. Moses, when this is all over, I'll play as many games of Mana Massive as you want. I swear. Restraining Order Lucas said Sophie once threatened to turn his son against him. That certainly implies some bad blood in their past. But that Lucas was scared of Sophie, not out for revenge. None of this is conclusive enough. Is that me? Did I go back in time and do that? It doesn't make any sense. And I would never hurt Sophie. Not on purpose. That isn't me. It can't be. There's also that flash drive from Gwen. Maybe something on there will crack the case wide open. Whoever did this had to go to so much trouble. Vin definitely knows more about the cow skull than he's letting on. Plus, there was that photo of him and Sophie canoodling. But what does that even mean? Why on earth did Gwen cancel Sophie's book deal? Didn't she help her to get it in the first place? Before Sophie died, Gwen got her book canceled. And I still don't know why. But that doesn't mean she killed Sophie. Plus, dead world Gwen seems genuinely torn up over her death. Yeah, the Gwen theory has some holes. I should see what's on Gwen's flash drive before calling it quits. Hold on. She's looking right at the camera. Like she knows it's there. Does she want to get caught? Or... Is this another doppelganger? Maybe if I go object by object, an answer will jump out at me? I read the beginning. It's annoyingly good. Unfortunately, Lucas didn't include an evidence that I killed Sophie chapter. None of this is adding up. Why would Gwen want to be caught? I have to prove that wasn't me. Coffee. Coffee is friend. Get coffee now. No matter how much I stare at you, he refused to make sense. Moses? Hello, Miss Caulfield. Oh, Fuck. Can I come in? The photo. If he sees that... I have some questions for you. Of course. I... I can answer your questions right here. I knew you'd be a valuable resource.
There are just a few details I'm struggling to make sense of. Go ahead. Arcadia Bay, where you went to high school, right? Yes. A beautiful town with a surprisingly violent story to tell. Not unlike... Arcadia Bay and Safi are not connected. A whole town wiped out by a freak storm. What do you think, Miss Caulfield? Are you the one who's unlucky? Or is it just everyone who ever meets you? Go fuck yourself. Arcadia Bay has nothing to do with Safi. Ooh, there it is. Touched a nerve? I knew I'd find one if I kept poking around. Detective, I'm not answering any more of his questions. What the fuck happened to the telescope, Maxine? I... I don't even know what you're talking about. Someone was in the office with me. I could hear them. I saw Moses in the hallway, but I didn't see you. All right, enough. We're not getting anywhere. This case has been abnormal from the beginning. None of the evidence makes any sense. At least that's something we can agree on. But I know why now. Somehow, all this death leads to you. That's not true. He saw it. He saw the photo. Stupid, Max. Stupid, stupid. What the hell do I do now? None of this makes any sense. What happened that night? Why the fuck am I in this picture? The old me would have just... Jumped back in time to the moment this photo was taken. Maybe... Maybe I still could? That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. No. Feels good. Final. Safi. Hmm. It's here too. But there wasn't a storm the day Safi died. 
Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Safi, wait. Who is Maya? What was she talking about? <sighs> Stop stalling, Max. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Pull the trigger. Moses, you were right. I don't know how, but you were. I have to tell him. Everything. Moses is waiting for me up there. Hopefully. This is where the police tape was yesterday. Did the cops take it down on Alderman's orders? He's not here. Yet. Let's give him a few minutes. Maybe wait on the bench. I know Safi would have something poetic to say about this. If only.
If I didn't know what used to be here, I'd find this really beautiful. Might as well gather my thoughts before Moses gets here. You stay the fuck away from me! What if he doesn't come? I couldn't blame him. I killed his best friend. What does that say about me? That I... Any version of me... Could do something like that? He's probably not coming. Diamond knows where I am, and who I'm meeting. So don't do anything stupid. I deserved that. You wanted to talk. So talk. Tell me the truth. Tell me why you did it. You were right. I shot Sophie, but I can't tell you why, because I don't know the answer myself. No reason you could give would be good enough. Moses, wait. I asked you to come here so I could show you proof. Something is weird about this place. Look, these flowers, what are the odds they bloom? In the middle of winter, exactly in the shape of Sophie's body? Five minutes and then I leave. Okay. So, what if I told you there's this other timeline where Sophie is alive and I can travel between this timeline and that one? Four minutes. I know, I know that it sounds insane. <sighs> But I can show you. I, I'll, I'll hop from this timeline to the other. You'll see me, poof, disappear. Yeah, to some magical fantasy world where you didn't kill Safi, right? It's not a fantasy world. It's connected to this one. If I try to, I can even see the other one from here. Wait, you can see across them? And here, too. So if you disappear or whatever, and I do something while you're gone... I can tell you what it was when I come back. And then... You'll believe me? It'd be a start. Okay. Okay, deal. Alright. There's a chance Moses will believe me. First, I gotta hop over to the other timeline. Now to see what Moses is up to on the other side.
Some of that was definitely directed at me. I shouldn't leave yet. Shit. I think Moses is too stunned to do anything. Let me jump back over to make sure I didn't break him. Max? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit! I'm sorry if I upset you. Upset me? Are you kidding? You did something physics says should be impossible. Is impossible. So you... You believe me? Yes. And... No. You disappeared. Max, literally. I completely forgot to do anything. Okay, let's try it again. Ready when you are. Okay, let's try this again. What did I do when you were away? And then you said... Machine Angel Psychic Storm. Um... Yep. <laughs> That's what I did. Wow. I mean... Yeah. Near as I can tell, Sophie's death is where the timeline split. I think her absence is the only difference between the two. I guess that could be a big enough event to lead to... You okay? So Sophie's alive over there, huh? She is. And she's... Don't say happy. We both know that would be a lie. You're right. When you see her again, can you give her something for me? The bottle cap? How did you... Safi slipped it back to me that night. Found it in my equipment. You give that to her, tell her... Tell her to stay safe, Max. Make her swear to it. I will. Promise. But I think she's going to need her help. What do you mean? When I was a teenager, I could... Rewind time. Just... 
raise my hand and undo everything that had just been done. Okay. And if I had a photo, I could go back even farther. Wait. Could. Past tense? Yeah. Turns out when you try to change the past, you don't actually fix anything. Sure. But what if the best way to fix things isn't changing your past, but rather changing your present? How dare you bring logic to my pity party? The point is, I stopped using it, and now it barely works. Okay, but there's a photo of you from that night, with a gun. You're saying that could be the future you? Even though you can't do that anymore? This morning I tried rewinding into that photo. It felt like trying to flex an atrophied muscle. Nothing made sense. But I was there, in the past. Sophie mentioned Maya, and oh God, the storm. Max? Look, there's a timeline where, for some reason, I shot Sophie. This one. And there's a timeline where I didn't. I feel like, intentionally or not, these two worlds exist because of a decision I'm going to have to make. Holy shit. Moses. I've been here before. When I could rewind, it broke time. People got hurt. I can't let what happened in Arcadia Bay happen here too. First look at the crime scene is inconclusive. I'll need some further insight into Miss Llewellyn Thyatt's mental state. Not to call a shot prematurely, but if this isn't suicide, I'd put money on a Mr. Moses Murphy, friend of the deceased, being the perp. I need to introduce myself to Mr. Murphy. He's talking like he hasn't already met you. Like he's... Alderman from yesterday. An alderman that already happened? Max, this is really bad. Time isn't supposed to act this way. It appears something was removed from her person post-mortem. Maybe the camera her mother mentioned. We need to get the hell out of here. <gasps> I fucking knew it. But returning to the scene of the crime? Amateur hour shit. How'd I let a couple of small time fuck ups like you get under my skin? You're not making any sense. You want to talk about sense? Nothing about you makes sense. Telescopes don't put themselves together. Evidence doesn't disappear. You're going to pay for what you've done, Maxine Caulfield. And I'm here to...
me! Moses, I could have saved him. No, you couldn't have. Listen to me, Max. This place ate a man. Moses, your hair. I told you. There's always a cost. It started with Safi. Maybe if we can figure out why you... Why she died... Then maybe we can prevent all of this. That's what I've been trying to do. The whole day I've been talking to people and... Spying on them and taking their stuff. Hey. Safi mentioned Maya, right? When you rewound? Right. What do you think Maya has to do with all this? No idea. I was before my time. But... Gwen Hunter might know more than me. She was Safi's mentor during all that mess. Gwen. Gotta go talk to Gwen. I'm still shaking. Alderman was, and then he just... Wasn't. And Moses and I were standing so close. But I'm here now. I'm here. I'm all right. Okay, talk to Gwen, see what she knows about Maya, and while I'm at it, I'd like to know why she killed Sophie's book deal. That's not what her text said earlier. It was about Alderman's investigation. What the hell is going on? Cool. I'm a tired sun, sleepy moon, and exhausted rising. It's alive! More music I'm not cool enough to know. I will never be as cool as Gwen. Old school. Nice.
A black rose? Pretty morose. Happy holidays to my favorite prof. I don't think a happy holidays is in the cards. It takes me ages to comment on one student photo. I can't imagine having to grade exams. One of Sophie's former students, I guess. Is that... Sophie's book? Hey, Gwen. Max. No conversations for you to conveniently overhear this time. Sorry to disappoint. Actually, I need to talk to you about Sophie. No reason to beat around the bush. I know you got Sophie's book deal cancelled. Shit. What I don't understand is why. You really have a knack for learning shit you're not supposed to know, you know that? So I've been told. <laughs> well then. No use fighting the inevitable. What do you want to know? That book meant the world to Safi. You had to know that losing it would break her heart. Of course I did. I busted my ass to help Safi get that deal in the first place. Introduced her to my agent, my publisher, lobbied for her. I don't regret it. That book was good. This keeps getting weirder and weirder. So, what did you tell the publisher that made them nix the deal? I... I told them there was incendiary content in the book. Which was true. It would have harmed a lot of people. Safi included. Safi's book was incendiary? How? What was it about? You really don't have an off switch, do you? How much did Safi tell you about Maya Okada? Gwen's bringing up Maya? Time to pay attention. Not a lot. I know they were friends. <laughs> Understatement of the year. The two of them were like the... Creepy twins in The Shining. You never saw one without the other. And that Ben Lang kid used to follow the two of them around like a lost puppy. But then Maya took her own life. And that's what Safi wrote about in her book? Maya's death and everything around it. Her anger at her mom for even thinking of Caledon when she'd just lost a soulmate. Ultimately, I realized it wasn't worth putting Yasmin and Safi through all that again. I made a call. I don't know if it was the right one, but it's the one I made. Sounds like Yasmin can tell me more about Maya. I'll have to be tactful. Let me get this straight. You helped Safi get the deal, and then you killed it? If it had to be done, it made sense for me to do it. You know, I brought you into this world, etc. One last thing. 
Is that Safi's manuscript? Oh, part of it. Why? Can I read it? No. That's where I draw the line. I don't trust you not to dig up old graves. Jesus. I've spilled too much already. Let's call this conversation over. Huh? Shit. Now I'm even more convinced there's something important in that manuscript. How do I get my hands on a copy? How can they have no record of him? They sent him. Tossing Gwen out screwed everybody over. Will Gwen be allowed to come back for these? So they took her computer. Probably going through it right now. I hope somebody is coming in to water you guys. Preferably someone who doesn't have to break in through an alternate dimension. Gotcha. Reading Safi's manuscript after all this feels like... I don't know. Being hit by a tidal wave. Whatever happened with Maya was explosive. Let's see what Yasmin has to say about her. Would you mind closing it behind you, Max?
Audrey? I'm worried about Kim. So am I. None of my attempts to reach out have yielded results. You? Nope. She's still not answering any of my calls. I think she's blocking them. I saw her in the North Quad, but she turned and ran the other way. This just isn't like her. Kim said she didn't want to go out. I think she's depressed. Well, she told me she was busy. She's probably too focused on school. What she needs is a friend she can empathize with. Someone a bit more in alignment with Professor Asshats grading my final. Mm. My younger self might have thought this would make an edgy photo. <laughs> I, for one, kind of like the paper straws. Lo-fi ambient bellows to chill slash study to. A classic. Then boom! The spaceship crashes right in the middle of a park and this alien crawls out of the hatch. That seems like a lot of money for a student project. I'm only gonna shoot the trailer. I figure I can cut costs doing some old school practical effects. Seems like you've got a plan. Still very ambitious. Go big or go home, right? I'd been meaning to ask Diamond about her new movie. It's nice to see her so excited about something other than Moses. Sorry, Yasmin, but I'll need to interrupt your downtime with some questions. Okay, time for a delicate conversation. Hi, Yasmin. Maxine. How are you? I was worried after your nosebleed yesterday. Like I said, I get those all the time. Still, be careful. Small symptoms can be signs of larger problems. A toothache can mean a heart attack. I'm gonna try not to think about that too hard. <laughs> I was hoping we could talk. Come, sit. I heard about what happened to Dr. Hunter. Yes. Would you really fire her? That depends on the findings of the committee. It's out of my hands now. Did Safi tell you her book deal was cancelled? What? No. How... How, uh, was she when she found out? Not sure, but I bet she was devastated. Oh, Sophia. I'll be sure to talk to her about this. You look like you've won the day. Coffee's that good? <laughs> Our ratings are. Kaladin is once again one of the top universities in the country. The coffee is just... so-so. I wanted to ask you about something. Have you heard of a student named Maya Okada? Of course. She took her own life. Four years ago. A horrible tragedy. 
I think... I think Sophie's book was cancelled because it was about Maya. <laughs> Impossible. Sophia didn't even know Maya. Did Yasmin just lie to me? Do I call her out? She'll be pissed, but I can cut straight to the point. Or should I go along with it and see what narrative she's trying to spin? Uh, of course. I don't know why I thought they knew each other. It's just... What? Everyone seems to have a different opinion of Maya. It's hard to track what's true. I understand that Ms. Okada was a bit chaotic. So she had a bad reputation. No wonder you didn't want her and Safi associated with each other. <laughs> exactly. Strange. I really thought Vin's statement closed the matter. Shady cow skull throwing Vin is involved? Enough ancient history. I have a favor to ask. Safia's been distant lately. Could you... Keep an eye on her for me. Are you sure that I'm the best person to... Yes. Because she trusts you. And I trust you. I... Yeah. Sure. I'll look out for her. Thank you, Maxine. Oh, the time. Let's do lunch again. Somewhere with more atmosphere than the other place. That was... odd. What did she mean by Vin's statement? Maybe I'd better talk to Vin myself. He's probably in the admin building. Yay, sport! Are you just gonna walk past me without saying hello? Oh, what a terrible mistake. Whatever shall I do? I'm hurt, but I'm sure you can make it up to me. I'll think of something. <laughs> anyway, hi Amanda. What are you doing on campus? Just going on a coffee run. But your coffee's better at the turtle. This one tastes like ass. Enough about me. What are you doing here? I work here. No, no. I mean, I just saw you talking to President Fayad. What were you talking about?
I was asking her about Safi and her relationship with a student named Maya Okada. Oh. Why? It's kind of a long story, but it's for something important. This guy's always falling for you, isn't it? <laughs> you have no idea. Well, I'll leave you to your something important. <laughs> See you around, tiger. See you, Amanda. He's probably in the admin building. I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Hey, Vin. Um, y Yasmin's out right now. Sorry to disappoint. Unless you're here for me. In which case, I'll do my best to be of service. Do you talk like this to everyone who comes near Yasmin's office? <laughs> I've never met a pissed-off board member I can't defang with a little eyebrow action. Speaking of Yasmin, how did you end up in her good graces? Oh, it's been so long I can't remember. She probably saw me in The Importance of Being Earnest my freshman year. Not to brag, I was kind of a campus sensation as Algernon. So, it had nothing to do with... Maya Okada? Wow. You know Maya's name. Am I supposed to collapse under the weight of that revelation? You're supposed to talk to me like a human being about what happened with her. What do you need me for, super sleuth? You're obviously capable of digging up ancient gossip on your own. Now, if you'll excuse me, Gwen's hearing completely scrambled Kahuna's schedule. No casual chats about Maya. Noted. Why is Yasmin talking about you? The hedgehog, distant relative of the shrew, enjoys its rest after a full day's work for the kahuna. Just... don't break it? I could just get you a new one. It cost me like two dollars. I don't want a new one. I want the one you gave me. Sophie bought him that hedgehog? That's sweet. How nice of you to finally return my phone calls, Desmond. Damn the email. Safi was our only child. Can't you spare 15 minutes to discuss her funerary arrangements? No? I don't blame Vin for wanting to ditch Caledon and get a fresh start. Looking for gigs out on the west coast, huh? Break a leg, Vin.
changing Yasmin's schedule must have been agonizing. For both her and Vin. I don't like the looks of this guy. Too... grim reapy. Somebody patched you up. Well, I'm glad one of us is feeling better. Say cheese, little guy. Maybe other Vin will spill. No way around it. I gotta talk to other Vin. Why is Yasmin talking about you? I don't know this Vin as well, but let's see what I can do. Looks like somebody had their last stand. I wanted to talk to you about Abraxas and who should be leading it. Waiting until I'm down to try to kick me out, huh? I thought you were smarter than that. And nicer, Frank. <sighs> Don't mind us, Max. We were just finishing up. Then Abraxas needs new blood. You mean you need another line on your resume? Hold up. Can we talk? I just want to ask you about Maya. Please. I can't handle the both of you. I'm trying to exploit my weak spots. Did I just witness a failed crown snatching? <laughs> you gotta seize the opportunities when you can. And hey, it almost worked. Speaking of which, what's the deal with Maya? Isn't she the undergrad who died a while ago? A tur? Why, do you know anything? Just that Vin looks like he bit into a lemon anytime someone says her name. So Maya makes Vin uncomfortable, huh? Let's find out why. There's gonna be a debate at the beginning of next semester. A special little pissing match for Vin and me. Vin usually runs for Abraxas president unopposed. But if I had the right piece of dirt, I bet I could make him step down. If I give her something juicy, and then go to the other timeline, maybe I can listen in on Diamond confronting Vin?
then gave a public statement about Maya. And I think Yasmin had something to do with it. Like Yasmin asked him to give the statement? That's the vibe I got. Do with it what you will. I don't get it. Were Maya and Vin friends or something? I'm not sure, but they definitely knew each other. And Vin gave a statement about her death. What a pompous little piece of shit. Whatever he did, now's your chance to squeeze it out of him. Damn. Okay, Machiavelli. Can you do me a favor? Wait until I get out of here to bring this up with him. You got it. I won't jeopardize your getaway. This Vin's not going to tell me anything. Maybe the other one has looser lips. If I'm going to listen in on this conversation, I need to cross to the other side. No, because here's the thing. I didn't want to bring this up before, but I know about the statement you made. About Maya. Yasmin asked you to give that statement, didn't she? That's an extremely fucked up thing to bring up. Nobody expects the head of Abraxas to be Mother Teresa, but they shouldn't be covering up details about someone's death. All right, fine. You want to know what happened? After Maria died, Yasmin told me that if I stated on the record that Maya was troubled, he'd give you the job as her assistant. Holy. But why would anyone want to hear about what you had to say about Maya? I don't know, Diana, maybe because we were fucking friends? I met in one of Colmanero's fiction classes and it clicked. And you said that shit about her? <laughs> like, shut up. You wanted a performance and now you're gonna kill her. I grew up without any money, okay? Most kids at Caledon don't get what that's like. And I'm not fucking stupid, okay? I'm not gonna make it as an actor. So yes, yes, he promised me a stable, respectable job, health insurance. And I took it. And I cared about Maya. And it was a horrible thing to do. And I've regretted it ever since. I mean, that's... I don't have to bring that up in the debate. There's not gonna be a debate. I'm dropping out of the race. You're just gonna let me be the head of a bracket? Like that? It doesn't feel very good in the end. Vin met Maya in Lucas's class, and he also knows something about the cow skull through Sophie's windshield, which conveniently made Lucas look guilty. If I can pressure the other Vin, maybe he'll tell me what the hell is going on here. I know. I know you're busy. Give me just a minute of your time. This better be worth it. Yasmin gave you this job as a favor, didn't she? For talking to a reporter who was writing about Maya's death? Didn't your parents ever teach you to not bring up people's dead friends for no reason? There is a reason. I promise. Please. Enlighten me.
they might not make a lot of sense, but I'm trying to help someone. And that means learning about Maya. Maya's been dead for years now. She can't help you or anyone else. Just go with me for a second, okay? All right. You said in your statement that Maya was troubled. But that wasn't true, was it? Finn, what really happened? Ask Lucas Colmanero. It all started in his class. He has Maya's blood on his hands. You're not saying Lucas... Killed her? Not literally, but... The man deserves every misfortune that befalls him. Like, for example... If Safi suspected him of tossing a cow skull through her windshield? No more free secrets. I have a reputation to protect. I guess I could reveal one of the other secrets I know. You owe me a favor, remember? Because of your package. My... Uh, package? Shit! That's in the other timeline! Get it together, Max! Uh... Never mind. <laughs> you and Safi had a thing, didn't you? One, information I already know isn't exactly thrilling. Two, I'm dying to know how you figured that one out. Because I'm confident it wasn't Safi. I saw a photo on your phone. <laughs> Remind me not to underestimate you. All right. So was the cow skull you or not? <sighs> yes. So, why? I mean, you've seen a pissed off Safi before. She's like a force of nature. When I heard her book got squashed, I seized an opportunity to aim her at a deserving target. So you were, what, protecting Gwen? That's as much as you get. And now I really do have to get back to work. But, Caulfield... Whatever the real reason is for you digging up old history, be respectful to Maya. She suffered enough while she was alive. You're kidding. How much? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> ha ha. Compare us all you want, only one Colmanero has a movie deal, and it's not Roberto. Samuel, I'm sorry, can you please hold? Absolutely not. Out of my office, now. But I- I just shipped my son out of the country because of your little stunt. You think we're just gonna go back to being friends? Admit it, Lucas. You have blood on your hands. Whatever you think, you know, you'll never be able to prove it. Now get out! What the fuck was that? I can't prove anything? Whatever happened to Maya, Lucas was definitely involved. No, I'm not going near that man again. Not alone, anyway. Loretta's a hard worker. I'll give her that. 
I just wish she'd use her powers for good. Hey, Loretta. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. How are you? Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Reggie? Reggie Kagan? Business major Reggie? Crap! Wrong Loretta, Max. You know what? Ignore me. I am lost in space. <laughs> End of the semester, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Anyway, catch you later, Loretta. No, Lucas. Sounds like a great time to take a look around inside. All right, let's see what I can find about Maya. Get in here. Jesus, some of these items are priceless. I've got a lot on my plate. I don't need this right now. Where the hell's Yasmin? Where's security? First Gwen's slashed tires. Now Lucas's office? What's going on in this timeline? The Shoals Award for Literary Excellence. They're handing out typewriters now for writing books? Pretentious, shiny, and probably hasn't typed a word in years. Kind of like Lucas. That's a lot of junk, but maybe what I need is somewhere in there. Um, oh, that could definitely be Maya Okada. Maybe he reads it for the articles. Whoa, why were Lucas and Maya meeting so much? This can't be a repeat of what happened at my high school. One time was far too many. Of course Lucas is the type of asshole that makes you buy his own book for class. Yasmin did one of these? I didn't realize just how much Lucas's book has resonated with people.
Well, this at least confirms Maya took his class. These folders are all from this year. I doubt I'll find anything about Maya. Don't think I've ever seen this sort of tree in the wild. World's okayest dad. Might be the first time Lucas didn't oversell himself. Poor devil. Banished to the hell from whence he came. Hmm. Seems like at least one student remembers Lucas fondly. That's probably his ex-wife. They look really happy here. What a strange place to find a key. Must be significant. Looks like a fun read. I didn't know Lucas did fun. Nope. That's not what I was expecting. Wait, a million miles beneath my feet? I know this. Maya wrote this. Come on, there's got to be a copy in here. Maybe ten of them. Holy shit. It's the same. Vin was right. Lucas does have blood on his hands. This is what I've been missing this entire time. I have to talk to Sophie. Sophie, hey. Stay strong, Habibdi. You know where to find me. Something wrong? Oh, you want to talk to me now? I've got nothing to say to you. Sophie, I... What? Did you spread my business to someone else? Dig up a couple more clues? Shit. 
She knows I've been asking questions. I'm not sure who you've been talking to, but I have a good reason. Oh, you have a good reason. Well, in that case, what's your good reason, Max? I'm worried about you. I think there might be someone that means you harm. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't have the energy for this. I think you should leave me alone for a while. Maybe a long while. I spent so many nights like this when I was on the road. Diners, bars, hotels. I liked being alone then. At least, I think I did. Chloe's probably partying. She'd pick up for me. But... It's not up to her to take care of me anymore. I can't just sit here feeling sorry for myself. I need some company. I could ask Amanda to help me drown my sorrows. So, any idea what you're gonna do? Good business tonight, or the dishwasher is broken. I love watching her work. Oh shit, that's weird. Do not say that out loud, Max. Hey, sport. Working hard or hardly working? Sport? <laughs> you cosplaying as a boomer dad today? Hey, you said it first. I doubt it. Old sport is more my style anyway. It's finals week, isn't it? Everyone that's come in here lately has that same frazzled look. A drink to ease your troubles. Shot, please. Are we wanting a gasoline on fire flavor experience? Or a sickly sweet? Rated grandma's liquor cabinet kind of taste. Let's do the gasoline. I want to burn my throat off. Shitty mezcal? All of the smoke, none of the dip. Taste buds are overrated. How are we feeling now? Like... Like I keep thinking I've hit rock bottom. But then I realize I'm still falling. <laughs> you are such a disaster. Oh God, I certainly have a type. You need more than a drink. Let's hang. Don't you have a bar to tend? We don't need to leave the turtle to have fun. Remember that date we were gonna go on? What do you say we have that date now? 
What are we going to do? Kidnap the members of Revenge Horse and force them to play here? As if. Revenge Horse only plays house shows. We might not be able to go to a show for real, but we can always pretend. I guess? Bitch, shut your dumb eyes. Okay. We pull up to my buddy Eddie's house. We call it the rat hole. Best house shows in Lakeport. Revenge Horse goes on at 11, but at the rat hole, that means midnight. The place is packed. We can smell Granite Joe smoking a blunt out back. And Eddie waves to us from a table full of scary merch. Hold up. Why is the merch scary? We approach the merch table. It's covered in stickers and pins, and they're all of this horse that looks like it was, quite frankly, drawn by a toddler, and yet it's powerful. No matter where you stand, it stares at your soul. Sick as hell. I buy a sticker. You now have one sticker. Hey, do I hear the band doing a sound check downstairs? Ahead of schedule? Let's check it out. <laughs> Careful, the stairs are steep. <laughs> Revenge Horse opens with my favorite song. Fuck, Mary kill. And a mosh pit opens in the smoky dark in front of the stage. Let's thrash, shock of death. Okay. Let's pretend you said something normal, but basically that. <laughs> we throw ourselves into the crowd. <laughs> probably immediately get a black eye. Oh, then I fight us away back to the bar and get you an ice pack. <sighs> I'll only need one eye to see the show anyway. <laughs> hey, the singer, is she a stage diver? I mean, in so much as you can call a thrifted area rug a stage, sure. <laughs> she sets her guitar down and takes a running leap towards the crowd. Happened so fast, nobody has time to catch her. Oh. Shit. I hope you're prepared for what happens next. Don't tell me that the singer, that she. Stone cold dead on the floor. But don't worry, this is how she would have wanted to go out. Before we leave, we each receive an invitation to her Viking funeral. That was the wildest show I have ever seen. <laughs> or like, talked about. Told you it'd be worth it. And you're walking away with, let's see, one terrifying horse sticker, some bruises from moshing, and an invitation to a Viking funeral. <laughs> If that was just a dry run, imagine what the real Revenge Horse show is going to be like. It's been a buck wild day, but that made me feel like, I don't know, maybe tomorrow my existence won't make things worse for everyone around me.
You keep saying that. About your day. What happened? Why are you so nice to me? Shit. <laughs> Doing it again. My therapist says I latch on to people too quickly. But what am I supposed to do when I gel with someone? Act like a bitch? At this point, you saying one mean thing would make me dissolve into a puddle of tears. Hey. I have never made a girl cry on a first date before. And I don't want to start now. Look, what can I say? I have a thing for emotionally unavailable women. You're not saying I'm... You're literally in my bar talking about yourself like you're a Category 5 hurricane. Um... Sorry, did I... Do something wrong? No. No. I really, really want to kiss you. Um, it's just that I, like I said, I tend to go for women who don't feel the same way about me. And I need to know I'm not just projecting. So, you kiss me first. I'm a sucker for a good dare. But I'm also very polite. So, you go first. Are you trying to... Break me? Max Caulfield, you are the worst. Fuck. you get off? About an hour. Uh, but before we do anything else, maybe we should sleep on it? In my bed? <laughs> as much as I'd like that, um, I'd like to be able to tell my therapist I made good choices this week. You are a very smart woman. I do. <laughs> to be continued. Okay. Uh, for now, I, I have to get back to it. Um. Hey, Max. Oh, fuck. That's about the level of greeting I'm expecting at this point. Thank you. You okay? Everything's fine. She fell in love with the wrong person. Reggie, what happened to the bro code? Max is a bro. You ever have a thing for the wrong person? Show me someone who hasn't, and 
I'll show you a lie here. Or however that saying goes. <laughs> That's deep, Max. I didn't think I wanted anybody before. Reggie says I should move on, and he's right. I just... I haven't felt this way about anyone, ever. I don't know if I will again. Give yourself some time. Life has a way of surprising us. Really hope you're right. There's Gwen. I should tell her about that weird security footage. Hey, Gwen. Oh, Jesus Christ, here we go. I'm sorry to bother you, but... I really think you should take a look at the footage. It's weird. Like, game-changingly weird. I think you should fight this. I'll look into it. Anything else? Oh, well, that's all. Um, I hope. Just take care. Okay, so our best plan is going to be moving across campus while everyone is in class. I got a copy of our assassin schedules. Vin Lang sold them to me for a six pack in my school ring. I have no idea what he's gonna do with it. Tim. Obviously we can't predict them skipping class. Tim. But extrapolating from their previous movements, we can. Is something wrong? She's just so hot. Just pretend like I'm not even here. Just talk to me, Safi. Tell me what's happening. I wish Safi gave me a moment to explain.
You can't be a bard. Why not? Because we already have a bard. Last time we had two bards, we got totally smoked. So, are you getting... reputation to uphold. Even scientists have feelings. Do I make any money as a grad student? No. Do I have any job prospects? No. But do I get excited every time I walk into my lab? Hey. Puck, yes. Hey, yourself. That's how Safi felt about her poetry. How are we feeling? And she's never going to oh, get a chance to write poetry you know, again. I'm upright. Shit. When you put it like that. Take it easy, okay? Not to give you an existential crisis, but none of us know how long we have. I could die in a freak telescope accident tomorrow. Great. There's Ven. Looking... rough. Come here often? <laughs> Probably too often. Join me? Help yourself. <laughs> Rough day. Everybody hates me. I'm annoying. I'm bothering to everyone. Colleagues, Moses, Toffee. Toffee used to get pissed at me too. Are you crazy? Toffee was obsessed with you. She would talk about you all the time. I was always jealous. I mean, um. Don't hurt yourself. I know about you and Toffee. Oh. Well, I should have told you. There's been a lot going on. And it's not like we're besties or anything. I wasn't her boyfriend or anything. And it ended a while ago, but... I guess I had this idea that we'd make up, eventually. <laughs> Any other deep, dark secrets you've disinterred from my past? I know what happened to Maya. <laughs> Christ, Max! I was joking! And I know what you did after she died. I was young, I was an asshole, and I didn't want to end up working at my parents' liquor store until I shriveled up and died. Does the past version of you ever feel like, I don't know, an alien? Like, the shit that person cared about is so worthless. You can't even remember being them?
That sounds like a shitty spot to be in. Especially right out of undergrad. Right? Here I was with the chance to be uh, salaried, health insured, even fucking 401k'd. And all I had to do was talk shit. Which I'm good at. Sorry to bring down the vibes. <laughs> I need to be more drunk. See, you made yourself right at home. I blame Vin. Oh, you hitting that? What? No. I mean, we were talking. And then Sophie happened. And I guess Amanda didn't feel like I could hack it. Oh. That's kind of whack. She's probably right. She's cute, but a, a little too principled for me, even discounting her utter lack of interest in my gender. Hey, principles can be hot. Uh-huh. I'm serious. I will write you an essay. Passion is very sexy. No, no, you're right. Passion is sexy. Like your buddy. The big guy with the telescopes. Moses? Once, I asked him how his day was going, and he explained to me the double slit experiment. It was weirdly hot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! What? You're saying you wouldn't? He's my friend! And this would be extremely friendly. Moses, smash or pass? He's a friend. It'd be too weird. More for me. I'll say this for Caledon. It's got a high ratio of fuckable faculty. <laughs> Dr. Hunter, for instance. Interested? She has a wife. So do a lot of people. Don't let your dreams be dreams. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold up. This is smash or pass? Not have a healthy, long-term relationship and two and a half kids or pass. I'm not asking if you want to marry them. Just... Just... <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Professor Colmanero. No. He sucks. Does he now? You suck. <laughs> hey, I'm just I'm just trying to think of people we both know. Lucas. Smash or pass. Pass, he's a dick. <laughs> and yet I've put up with worse for less. <laughs> Okay, my turn. Yasmin. Oh, now that's just unfair. Why? <laughs> because then I'd have to admit just how hot I find authority figures. <laughs> I would not have pegged you for the type. Oh, yeah. What would you peg me for? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't just let it lie there. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. My turn again. Let's see. Who do we both know? Uh -huh. No. My students are off limits. Well, as I am one at Caledon and two, not one of your students, which appear to be your two standards. Come on. So, what about me, Miss Caulfield? Where do I fall on the binary?
don't take this the wrong way, but... No worries. No hard feelings. That's the Smasher Pass rule. Yeah. Yep. Well, it's been fun. I needed this, so... <laughs> Thank you. Night, Max. Good night, Vin. I better cross back over in case Sophie is cooled off and is trying to reach me. So if you're not gonna go work a plush consulting job, does that mean I can't be your house husband? Derek, you don't even like girls. You were never going to be my house husband. Besides, you can't cook. Ooh, be nice to me. I'm getting a PhD in anthropology. You think your job prospects are bad? To hell with the job market. That's a problem for future us. That's what I really need to cap off my night. Falling on my ass. This Reggie looks better than the last time I saw him, but he doesn't look good, exactly. Hey, Reggie. Feeling okay? Uh, I don't feel like I'm about to fall off the face of the earth, so... Reggie... I know, I'm not doing good, Max. I wasn't doing good before I saw me. Now I'm worse. I think something like that would rattle anyone. That's not the only thing, though. When I was a freshman, I thought moving here across the country would fix everything that was broken inside of me. Everyone here just thinks I'm a fuck up. And maybe, maybe they're right. Reggie, you're funny, genuine, clumsy. <laughs> but I've seen your photos. You're not a fuck up. At least there's one thing I'm good at. <laughs> Thanks, Max. Anytime. Nothing from Safi. I don't know what I was hoping for. Maybe I should just... Head home for the night.
We now return to your regularly scheduled fuckery. Oh, God. This is bad. Whoever was here really messed this place up. What were they looking for? stuff. I sure hope it was worth the damage. God, I wish you were here, Chloe. I could use some of your courage. Great. Guess I've got to burn all my clothes now. I don't need an article. I see the wreckage every time I close my eyes. here I can't let them go through my investigation stuff there you are asshole show me your face going on.
Um, hey. <laughs> it's me, Max. I'm you, somehow. I would really love to know what the fuck is going on. You weren't supposed to be home. What? Why wouldn't I be home? <gasps> Wait! No doorways to the other world on this side of the log. I need to find a way to track her from this timeline. Shit, how do I know which way? Now what? Now what? Where did you even come from? Are you from the future? Is this what's been going on with you? <laughs> that you've completely lost the plot? I don't understand. Why were you in my house? What are you looking for? What are you looking for? All that stuff in your dark room? About Lucas? About Vin? About Gwen? 
Shit you have no reason to know about, or care about! That's not true! I'm trying to help, Sophie! Of course you were! God, I'm so sick of people trying to help! Stop. Please. We can't touch each other. I've seen what happens. Please, trust me. Trust you? Go fuck yourself, Max. No! Oh! Super Max? Come on. Let's get you warm. I always said you were too soft for academia.
you're um, getting like water on your sofa. Shit. Right. I should change. Um. Be right back. Just need to go upstairs and put on something dry. I have so much I want to ask Sophie about. I don't even know where to start. I liked it better when Sophie and I broke into places together. I guess I could only hide my past for so long before Sophie took matters into her own hands. Is it still destruction of property if what you're tossing around are the books you lent me? Come on, Sophie. I would have thought you had more respect for art. Sophie bought me that frame, and then she broke it. This is so complicated. I don't know where we stand. Security footage of someone who looks like me, dealing with students. Yay, sports. You're just gonna walk past me without saying hello? The shit Robbie says I told him, it, it, sick to think about. Me and Sophie just outed each other. What now? Whatever we say tonight could change everything between us. I don't know if I'm ready for that. I moved my evidence box to this timeline to avoid Alderman, but never thought I'd have to keep it from Sophie, too. So, you're what a shapeshifter. You You've have got powers? powers? Oh. Here, person with the bottle cap, has to answer a question. Huh. Clever little minx, you. <laughs> hmm. Deal. Let's play. How long have you had your power? Uh, since high school, right after dad left, mom was broken. And the way she dealt with being broken was to make sure I wasn't. That was a project. Proof that she didn't need him to do something right. That's a lot to put on a kid. Yeah, don't I know it. God, I remember wishing <laughs> so much I could just be the way she wanted me, magically, instead of struggling all the time and still falling short. Then I started wishing I could be someone else entirely. Someone who didn't have to carry all that weight. Then, one day, 
I could. So. Are you like that girl in Frozen? Ice powers and musical numbers. No. There's a world parallel to this one that I can access. I am um, switched that world's icy lake with our broken one. Hang on. Parallel world? It's the same as this one. Except... You're... Dead. Okay. Gonna need a moment with that one. This you? Were you gonna say something? Sorry. At some point in the future, I think I'm going to travel back to the moment you took this photo and shoot you. Uh, unless I can figure out why and find a way to change things in the present. Let's come back to this. Give me the bottle cap. Can you turn into anybody? Uh, only if I've met them IRL. Trying to guess who I've been? Go ahead. I'll answer those for free. That was you impersonating Gwen and dealing drugs to students. Not like she didn't deserve it. Your book deal. When I got the news, it was canceled. She was the first person I called. She said she didn't know anything about it. When she started ignoring my texts, I knew it was mask off time. Hell, I started to think you were in on it, too. That's why I came tonight. To see what you were hiding. Why didn't you tell me you knew Gwen killed it? I wanted to wait till I got more information. You've got my number, Max. We could have shared intel. Seriously, Max, I thought you were covering for Gwen. I thought I couldn't trust you anymore. But actually, I was just trying to prevent your murder in another timeline. Yeah, that's <laughs> honestly a relief. <laughs> <sighs> Did you change into Lucas and ruin things with his son? I thought Lucas was involved in canceling my book. I gave him a chance to come clean. He didn't. Robbie had nothing to do with his dad's shitty actions, though. I weighed how best to hurt Lucas. Robbie was the only way. I don't know. Just 
so that was actually you trying to get into Vin's phone. Mmm. If anyone deserves an acting award, it's me. I thought he was just trying to get rid of anything tying him to the cow skull fiasco. So that was him. Guess he's still not over me. Nothing says take me back like vandalism. Kids don't spray paint their names in hearts anymore. There was a moment talking to Amanda today that felt a little different. Look, you were snooping around. I needed to know why. It was self-defense. We can forget about this time, but can you not do that again? It's Amanda. Yeah, okay. Fair. <laughs> What about shape-shifting into Moses? No. He's off-limits. Not that I couldn't, but, you know, it's Moses. I guess I should let you ask me something now. <sighs> My mom, she can wait. So, you said something about traveling back to a moment? Can you clarify? The truth is, in my teens, I could rewind time. Shit. Time travel too? You're really white privileged into all the cool powers. You'd think so, but rewinding was... too easy to abuse. Knowing you can undo anything makes choice seem irrelevant. Oh, the things I would undo. The bad sex I would unhave, the amazing sex I'd rehab. <laughs> Until you learn that to move forward, you can only choose one path. And you have to live with it. My turn again, huh? <laughs> How exactly do you shape-shift? It's got something to do with perception. Manipulating how others see me and hear me. Like right now, I can kind of feel the part of your brain that senses me. And if I nudge it, Wow. Yup. Still creepy. Are the teens using creepy to mean awesome nowadays? Whoa. It's like she walked across my brain for a second. All right, so you used to time travel, and now you can switch timelines? What, what changed? You know how I don't talk about where I'm from? Well, where I'm from is gone because of me. A 
saw an article about Arcadia Bay in your memories box. That was a freak storm. I was the freak. And I was the storm. My powers went haywire. And I had a choice. Save the town. Or save the girl that I... I chose her, the blue-haired girl. Hearing her, seeing her get shot in a dirty high school bathroom. I couldn't live with that. So I undid it. And a whole town died. didn't dare use my powers again. Not till I got here. When other you died, I learned that my powers had changed. That I had. By the way, Moses on the other side gave me that bottle cap to give to you. Moses knows? Well, not everything. He knows about me and you being alive. Not the shape changing, obviously. He told me to tell you to stay safe. I'm trying. I should probably tell you about Maya. Maya Okada was my best friend. God, we were such a pair. <laughs> she was so fucking smart, dude, and the best writer I've ever known. What Lucas did to her, stealing her work, it essentially killed her. And as incandescently angry as I am at Lucas, at everyone, I'm so much angrier at myself. God, I, I told her to stay quiet about it. <laughs> My silence catapulted Lucas fucking Colmenero to literary stardom and sent Maya to an early grave. You said you were mad at everyone about it. Still am. Including Gwen? Gwen was the one who said to put my anger into poetry. That poetry became all the daughters we don't talk about. Your book. Yep. And at the 11th hour, she got cold feet. Does that include your mom? She told me to tell Maya to keep quiet, and she protected Lucas. We've talked it through a little since then. I don't hold it against her. Not really. Vin's statement. Bingo. He was supposed to be Maya's friend. But Caledon said jump. At least I have the humanity to regret asking how high. I'm hazy on the connection between all this and your book. Every piece in that collection was about Maya. Or about what happened to her. Guess I told it a little too clearly. 
And when Gwen showed her true colors and pulled the plug on the book, I had to find some other path to vindication. Gwen, Lucas, Ben, your revenge tour. My justice tour. Safi, what if... What if that justice tour goes wrong? What if it spirals out of control? What if eventually it's the reason I... What? This photo? That I don't remember taking? Dude, do you even own a gun? No, but... Great! Don't buy a gun. Problem solved. I don't understand how you can be so chill about this. I don't understand how you could be such a bummer about it. Max... We have fucking superpowers. You keep talking like you're cursed, but you're not. You're in control. You and me, we're more in control than most people. Hey, look at me. Tell me honestly. Do you really think that you're capable of hurting me like that? Two? Yes. Well then, let's make sure you don't have to. But Safi, we can't just cross our fingers. We have to do something. What do you propose? Lucas. Justice for Maya. You wrote a whole book about it. And that book is dead. The book is... You aren't. I can still expose Lucas. We can. When you tried to expose him before, you were alone. Now there's two of us. We've got powers, and we've got proof. Krampus on campus. Shit, that's tonight. Everyone will be there. And you'll be expecting a mock trial. You won't be expecting us. <sighs> Wanna nail a smug asshole to the wall? I've never wanted anything more. Here at Krampus, but shit, I'm still reeling. Safi has powers. She can literally nudge people's brains to see what she wants them to see. And Lucas, you can't get any lower than plagiarizing your students' work. But after tonight, everyone will know what he did. And Maya will get the justice she deserves. Okay, some of these decorations scream not safe for work. It's Krampus. Every year it gets even more like a Halloween rager. It's spooky. I like it. Everyone should end the year this way. Your idea of a fun outing involves condemned buildings. Of course you'd like it. <laughs> Is the gingerbread house part of the plan? Hilarious. No. The plan is, when it's time to roast Lucas, we'll swap out their toothless slideshow with mine. Spend all day on it. It's got all the evidence I have of what Lucas did to Maya. 
We'll play it while he's on stage in front of everyone. What's wrong? Just promise me we'll nail him this time. He's not slithering out of this. Not between the two of us and other Moses. You're right. He's fucked. So, how do we pull this off? Looks like Reggie's running the projector. We need someone who's willing to run the slideshow without asking questions. And not piss themselves when Lucas gets mad. I'll see how Reggie's feeling. Next up, Ben. He's the MC tonight. So we'll need his help. Think you can talk him into it? Ben and I have history. And that leaves Gwen. Be nice to have her support. She hates Lucas as much as I do. But I doubt she'd listen to me. I'll talk to her. Great. Let me know when you're done. Enjoy the party! <laughs> Operation Expose Lucas is a go. It's good to see Gwen here, in spite of everything. Hey. Just the troublemaker I wanted to see. Me? Really? Yeah. You were right. That security footage was weird. I showed it to the board. And? Didn't make a fucking ounce of difference. I got fired anyway. Sophie's power over perception in others seems to imprint on objects as well. Oh, Gwen. I'm so sorry. So, is... Is that what you came over here for? Sophie has a plan to tell the truth about Lucas's book during the roast. It would be a lot more credible if someone from the faculty backed us up. I hadn't realized how much fight I'd lost until that hearing today. I forgot how much better it feels to stand for something. Fuck it. I'm in. Thank you, Gwen. Really. So, uh, when does this all go down? Don't worry. You won't miss it. I like that it leans. It gives it character. Energy drinks and alcohol. What could go wrong? Hey! There's so much to do tonight. Merry Krampus, young man! And have you been in a Krampus in the wild? Mm. Say cheese. Krampus? Why could Reggie have been Krampus? Did it Ew, is this Latin? Why? Now I'm curious about what happened with him. I hope Sophie can convince Vin to help us. You're not my real dad! No, listen. You can't act a fool like this if you want to- Reggie looks nervous already. He might be a liability. Hey, Reggie. You manning the projector tonight? <laughs> Babysitting, more like. The school only agreed to let us use Olga here if someone kept an eye on her at all times. Oof. Not what you had planned for Krampus. Reggie, how would you feel about... Helping us pull a prank on someone. We need to use the projector. Oh, uh, I, I, um, I don't, I actually, I don't think that that's, uh, that, uh... Just 
testing you. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. Caledon must appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm paying all the bills with all this appreciation. <laughs> okay, Reggie's not going to cut it. But if something went wrong with that projector, and Moses was the only one who could fix it, But how can I make sure I only break it in a way that this Moses can fix? She better be making a fortune in tips. I love what you've done with the place. Can't wait to take all this shit down. Abraxas' idea of holiday decor does not line up with mine. I'm surprised you let them do anything. You're kind of a control freak. I am not. It's just... my bar. <laughs> Whatever, shoo, go enjoy the party. So bossy. You drop out. Why do you need his advice? It's the truth. I'm the art. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. I should let Moses have a little more time with Diamond before I drag him into things. You're such a delight. Sorry, Amanda. This place is gonna be a mess by the end of the night. Hey guys. Max. Hey. Uh, not to be a downer, but things aren't looking good for you, Diamond. That's because I am playing the long game. You know there's only two more rounds, right? This game is impossible! I'm gonna check out more of the party. See you guys. I'll need other Moses to help me break the projector. Moses insisted on being here tonight to support us, even though he won't see any of it. Hey, Moses. Not sure I'll ever get used to that. <laughs> I like it. It'll help with cosplay. How's your first Krampus? It's amazing. Red lights everywhere and baby doll heads on the tree. It's... Anyway, that's not why we're here. Did you guys figure out a plan? Yes, we did, but it's already falling apart. We require Mozai assistance. I need to get other Reggie to let other Moses control the projector instead. Okay. I was thinking if something went wrong with it... So it's gotta go wrong in a way that's right for me to fix it. Exactly. Do you know which projector it is? Reggie called it... Olga? Olga can be... particular. If he goes to the other side and listen, I can walk you through jamming it from here. You might be better at my powers than me. Probably. <laughs> Come back and let me know if it works, okay? I will. Better get into position. I don't want to miss Moses' instructions. Amanda is not as busy here. Ready for the school year to be over? I am. This year has felt like a string of endless Mondays. You'll be here? I'll be in and out. Don't have too much fun. I guess Lakeport will have to find another bar to wet their whistle. We're just growing in different directions. I'm sorry. I can't believe this! I 
I'd love getting any one of these. Sorry, Reggie. We're going to have to get rid of you. I need Reggie's eyes off that projector long enough for me to get my hands on it. Huh. They're chummy. Maybe Diamond can help me out. Reggie's officially distracted. I should be good to go now. I hope Moses is ready on the other side to give me instructions. I'm not touching anything until I hear from other Moses. Maybe Reggie did see her and she had to talk to him? Okay, how long would that take? Max, you there? Man, this feels silly. If you're there, start by opening the okay. control hatch. Okay, see what Moses right has side. to say. There are more controls? You're kind of like a spy. Do you feel like a spy? Oh, Moses. Okay, Max, you back? If yes, switch to focus mode to manual. If no, I... If no, I'm not really sure. Just keep talking to myself, I guess. So far, so good. What's my next step? Shouldn't take too long, right? Click one switch. Yeah. Max, next, make sure the focus dial is turned all the way to the left. Still needs to be a little more to the left. This looks like it's in the right spot. I'm giving you an extra second or two. Probably turn the knob all the way to the right at first by mistake. Hey. All right, Max. Final step. Just hit calibrate. After a few seconds, you should hear the motor stick. I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry, Elda. Sorry, Reggie, but this is one omelet we have to make. No, 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 shit. Uh, what is happening, oh god? Ah, this is the wholesome Christmas content I came for. This one first, then you can play that one. And then a red card, right? You got it. This has to be the nerdiest picture I've taken all year.
sorry, Gwen. I'll probably have to bother you anyway. That would have distracted me too. Trust me, Lucas. We're gonna roast you until only ashes are left. Safi's as subtle as a flying brick. Heavy is the head that wears the Krampus horns. Hey again. Hey, Moses. I need a favor. I think Reggie's on the brink of ruining school property. Oh. It's Olga. Everyone thinks she's finicky, but she's just... Rain check? Sure. Booty calls. Hey, Reggie, I found help. I, I, I don't know what happened. One minute she's fine, and the next she's yelling at me like she's my mom. <laughs> There's your problem. The focusing motor is stuck. <laughs> Maybe take the night off, Reggie. I think Moses has it from here. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, Max. You sure? Yeah, this is Krampus we're talking about. We need a pro. We need a pro to press next on the projector? Everything has to be perfect for the roast. Okay. If you're sure. <laughs> Thanks, Moses. You saved my life. <laughs> You're being all maxi. What's afoot? Me and Sophie are hijacking the roast tonight. And we need your help to run this slideshow instead. 
We have good reason. You'll see. All right. I trust you. I should talk to the other Moses. It worked. Other you is in place and ready to go. Nice. Where'd you get this house? Aren't they from the party? Amanda saved me a kid. She knew Safi and I really got into it last year. Last piece. Oh, damn. Chimney broke. <sighs> I wonder how it tastes. I bet I can find an extra chimney on the other side. Just... Just hang on. I should talk to Safi and get the roast going. Can I borrow Safi for a sec? What's up? So, Other Moses is also making a gingerbread house? Aww. Is he? Yeah. But his chimney broke. Mind if I take yours? How's he doing? Like, really? He seems really lonely right now. Because I'm gone? Moses is the only one I did this for. <sighs> this was a doozy to make. I love it. How are the discussions about our issues on campus going so far? Much better than expected. It Voila. Guess who it's from. It's... for real? From the other side, from... Safi? Thank you, Max. You're welcome.
If anyone can convince Vin to do this, it's Safi. We're ready to go. Is he... Part of your merry band? Yeah, I am. Great. Gwen's on board, too. Damn. <laughs> it was not for nothing. Why? What's going on? Lucas is about to call the whole thing off. He's out on the patio freaking out. He's supposed to announce his movie deal tonight. I guess he's worried it's too good to be true. Okay, so what do we do? Better be quick. Guy's two ticks away from calling an Uber. Fuck. I'm gonna go stall him. You figure something out, Max. Good luck. What's she doing? Is that Safi? Yup. <laughs> That's definitely Safi. I better go back up Safi out on the patio. So, uh, remind me what the plan is again? Tiny question. Sunk! <laughs> Drink up, baby! How are you so good at this? Where I grew up, there was nothing to do but drink and set shit on fire. You strip poker next? You're a menace to society. Ah, that Vin chose Smash too. You know, on second thought, maybe her. Uncanny how much Sophie looks like Loretta here. I'll be quick. How did you find success after years of mediocrity? Loretta? I've talked about this in my workshops, Loretta. Don't you remember? Critics rarely understand genius when it first appears. That's... yes. That's a common refrain in great art. It's been years since Water Beast was published. Have you settled for an early retirement? Come on, Loretta. You can't rush the process. Lucas has a vision that requires time to perfect. Yes. Very well said, Max. Thank you. Besides, there's a reason Lucas needs to focus back on Wilder Beasts for now. Oh, really? If you stick around for the Krampus roast, you can be the first to break the news. Right, Lucas? Uh... Yeah, that's right, for sure. Nice work, Loretta. Thanks for your time, Professor. Trying to get on my good side again? I don't like fighting with my colleagues. What are you doing in academia, Max? I'll let you in. I almost called off the event before you got here. You? On your big night? <laughs> yeah, I know. If my old man could see me, he'd tell me to man up and get in there. <laughs> he was an author too, you know. Roberto Colmenero. Come on, then. I deserve this. I should stop stalling. Go get him. R.C. Roberto Colmenero. Great job, partner. Although, I thought you were gonna puke there for a second. Lucas has a gun. Ew, what the fuck? Why? It belonged to his father. 
Sofi, this is bad. Oh, Jesus, Max, you might shoot me, Lucas might shoot me. America has a problem. Give it to me. I'll take care of it. It's time for the Krampus Roast! <laughs> Let's welcome our guest of honor, Professor Lucas Colmanero! Fair warning, he's gonna say a few words before we start, so I hope everyone's already halfway to wasted. <laughs> no hard feelings, bro. Thanks, Vin. I, uh... I wanted to announce some surprising news. No? My world-renowned book, Wilder Beast Than These. Wait. That's not right. Uh, who... What is this? Not your past, Lucas. Your former student, Maya Okada. Now that's odd. <laughs> I thought this was a presentation about your book. Would you care to explain what Maya's doing up there instead? These are not my slides. No? Then let me help you out. The beast rose and stared into me. It became me. I had always been the beast. <laughs> Powerful words from Caledon's famous pet novelist. Am I right? What do we all think? <laughs> Thank you. At least someone remembers this is a roast. Now, wait a minute, Professor. This might be the clue we were looking for. So, what do we have here? Maya Okada's draft. Wait a minute. Maya wrote that sentence? That, that, that page? For real? Yes, for real. But you already know that. Because every word of your venerated novel belongs to Maya Okada. What the hell are you doing? This is slander. Every one of this man's accolades belongs to Maya Okada. That's why he only wrote one book. I can't believe this. That's why the one book. You were right. It's working. I need to get away with this. You don't know what you're talking about. Try me. All right. All right. Let's rein this in. <laughs> now, we wouldn't want this roast to end in any actionable legal threats. <laughs> uh, continue, please. As some of you must surely know, Maya Okada was a beloved former student of mine who tragically took her own life. The thought of her death being politicized and used as as a cudgel, beyond disrespectful. Maya believed in my work. She believed in me. That's a load of horse shit, Colmanero. Everything Vin Lang said is true. I should know. 
because I helped cover it up. I shouldn't have, but I did. And so did this university. We all helped make sure that man never faced a single consequence. That's despicable. Horrible. Petty of you, Gwen, trying to take me down with you. Unfortunately, Dr. Hunter was just terminated for, well, highly illegal conduct. That has nothing to do with this. In fact, her very presence on this campus may be unlawful in and of itself. Gwen, we've been colleagues for years. I understand you're disgruntled, but I hope in the future you can channel your anger more productively. How fucking dare you? <sighs> wow. Sorry about that, folks. I knew this would fucking happen. Yeah, what are you doing? I'm changing it to Ven. I'll make Lucas fast up myself. Sophie, wait. Really this is your chance to tell everyone God. your side. Shouldn't you go up anyway. there as yourself? Are you serious right now? Right. If speaking my truth worked, we wouldn't it's be here. I am serious. Superpowers aren't the answer to every problem. I would know. With the rest of Caledon. Fuck. As of next year, Wilder BCDs right. will be adapted into a feature. Trust you. Film. We have to get in this time, Max. So, this is Vin's turf, not cast, mine. Friends. Make my day. Do you really think I should go up there as myself? You can do this. Fuck. Honesty is not my strong suit. Here we go. Safi. Did you forget that I was actually there? That at one point we were all friends? You, me, and Maya? I trusted you. Was that all a lie too? You're trying to turn me into this monster. I watched you tour the country, win awards for the work you stole from her. I watched her beg you to stop. I watched you kill her. Now you expect me to watch you Profit off her grave? Yeah, and what about you? If what I did was really so bad, you would have said something back then. You didn't. I was a child. What was your excuse? And what young Sophie here doesn't understand is it, it wasn't stealing. Authors frequently take uh, inspiration from one another. I was going to give her credit, but then she... Think about what I was going through at that time. My divorce, my son, this. This is absurd. You were right. They listened to me. Just me. Of course they did. You're you. <laughs> you don't know how much this means to me, Max. I'm just happy to share this moment with you. Okay, enough. Let's celebrate! Hey! <laughs> we need to talk. Alone. And before you say, fuck off, you'll want to hear this. Relax. I'm the one packing, remember? 
I'll be fine. Wait for me? I'll be over with Moses when you're ready. Lucas and Safi? That can't be good. Oh, I should let other Moses know how it went. That must have been hard for Amanda to watch. Hey, Amanda. Guess this is what you've been so distracted by. To be honest, I don't like that part of you that keeps yourself hidden from me. I don't want to. I want to tell you everything. But you can't. Not now, at least. Could you maybe give me some time? I know what I want. I'm not always patient when I do. But I'll try. For you. Because you're so cute. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> She finally did right by Maya. That worked out better than I expected. Safi was phenomenal. I'm proud of her. Didn't feel so great what Lucas said to me, though. It meant a lot to Safi that you came forward. Yeah? Thanks, Max. So oh, close, Vin. So close. So... what happened? Lucas... Uh, reminded me that we're not the only ones who can make threats. It's not important. Well, we got him in the end, so... No harm done, I guess. Where's Safi? I'm worried. She's around here somewhere. You remember that cow skull thing? I wasn't covering up for Gwen. Just once? I'd love it if you said what you mean. Just keep an eye on Safi tonight, okay? Fine. See you around, Ben. See, Diamond? Us adults are just as confused and messed up as anyone. That was wild. So that's why you needed Moses, huh? Yeah. Man. The fact that Lucas was the department chair after doing that to a student really creeps me out, you know? I really do. Let's forget about Lucas for the rest of the night and get hammered. <laughs> Sounds great. Moses trusted us, all right. Didn't question a single thing. Wait, I want to update the other Moses first. I want to leave him hanging. A true team effort. Moses got to make one last house with Safi after all. We got him. What I would have given to see it. How is Safi? 
surprised, I think. She's not used to people listening to her and believing her. You should get back. She'll need you. Us. She knows you're still here for her, too. Whoa. <laughs> that made my entire year. Mine, too. So that's what you two were planning this whole time. Wait, where's Safi? Where's Safi? Safi wanted the truth, so I gave it to her. All of it. You don't even know what the fuck you just did, do you? What was that about? Ah, what's wrong? My head, it's... It what? was my book! I can't, I can't, I can't believe you! Believe I can't believe you! I can do this! You lied to me. You lied, you lied to, to me. me. You lied, you lied to, me. to me. You lied to me. Sophie. You lied to me. 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 getting worse. People's headaches are getting worse. Unforgivable. 
almost there. Hold on, Sophia, Hold on. please. I was trying to say you were trying to protect me. Say it one more time. I fucking dare you. Sophie, don't do Stay this. Stay back! Both of you. Sophie, listen to me. Something's happening to your powers. You're losing control. All this time I've been trying to get justice and she's the one who's been getting in the way. Not Gwen, my own fucking mother. It was you? You canceled her book deal? The book was just her latest twisted fuckery. She's been doing this for years, since I was a kid. You deserve better than what I <laughs> Arcadia Bay? About the storm? It's happening again. If we don't do something, the whole town's gonna be destroyed. And you don't want that on you. Trust me. Max, she kept me from seeing my dad. And she made me think it was his idea. How fucked up is that? You don't understand. This world can be so cruel. How's this for cruel? The only time in my entire life that you were controlling me was when I wasn't even me! Happy day. Oh. Oh. oh my god. Do you think you are? I'm your mother. One day you will understand. Shut up! I've done everything for you. Shut up!
I made it back to the night of. But before. The storm's here too now. Maybe it's everywhere. And if I'm here, then. Sophie. The Overlook. Which Sophie will be there? The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug? Or the one who hurt so many people? Even herself. I didn't want any of this. I tried so hard to sit. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. Which Sophie are you? Am I even Sophie? After all of that? Holy shit! <laughs> you really did it! <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. The storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I. Never done that before. I guess it's time. Do you understand what you're asking me to do? You've already done it, right? At this point, it's just recitation. Sophia, I'm serious. This is too much. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I hurt so many people. Help me fix it. Please. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Sophie. God, you're such a cornball. Uh. Pull the trigger.
not dead. And I'm in the North Quad. Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! I'm not in the past anymore. Safi could be Max? Safi? Safi! Seems like a thousand years ago Moses and I sat on that bench. For all Max! I can hear you! But where? Where are you? What's going on? Max, thank God. I walked out of the snapping turtle, and then somehow I was here. You see all this too, don't you? The eye of the storm? I see it. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on, let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Sophie and Moses found shelter. Max, I'm right behind you. Moses had the world's horniest grandma up that night. What is going on with Moses? Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Since when do you smoke? Doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. Doors don't seem super reliable right now, so I guess it's good you're outside for now. So should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? You're not making any sense. Are you trying to tell me something? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I. Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... Why 
watch Return of the Living Dead and uh, eat a whole pizza? Right, Moses? All right, Max. You've got 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? This feels... right. But that... that's just Safi. Wait, what if I try it again, but double expose the photo? <laughs> Max, thank you. I... I... What happened? I don't know. It was like Safi had locked me in a kind of, I don't know, a sarcophagus. I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Safi. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... What did she say? She was hurting, Max. That's all I could tell. Whatever you did, snap me out of it. Or snapped her out of me? Max? Max, where? I'm sorry, I. Sophie? 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 You okay? I think I know what I have to do. Beth, I'm coming with you. No, stay here. The storm... I've been through something like it before. Reality gets... unreliable. Better if you... sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm? Take care, Max. See you on the, uh, flip side. When a door closes... The window opens. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun, and I did. And dozens of people died instead to my storm. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Where is that coming from? This still isn't as funny as the artist thought it was.
It's in one of these stalls. That's new. Lucas, I have to get down there. Never believe people who try to justify torturing women by calling it art. It, it can't be... anything but that. I can't. I can't. I was 18 when Jefferson trapped me in that chair. I'm not 18 anymore. So this is what it's gonna take. dreams about this thing. Oh, I can feel him looking at me through that. Staring at this makes my head hurt. I... I... I don't want to look at this. Feel him looking at me through that. <laughs> no, no, never again. <sighs> Once is all you get. Get the hell out of here. Still need to get to Lucas. memorial tree what the hell is it doing here in the dark we labored I like and this quieter Lucas I almost don't want to fix him I wake 
We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. And I feel a forgotten hope. Like a crack of light across my heart. Smile, Lucas. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. Max. It's really you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? Stay put, okay? It's dangerous out there. I think that's all I can do for Lucas. Miss Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time. A time vortex that manifests in a storm. Ugh. Time vortex? Fuck, you're right. I remember Safi being shot, and I remember seeing her around campus. Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi, isn't it? This is her pain, what we did to her. Then I don't think Safi blames you for- <laughs> No, <laughs> you're right, she doesn't. She was in my head back there and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <clears throat> you know, I, I was in love with her, or I thought I was. Maybe you should. Focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. I should go make sure Reggie's okay. He looks like he could use a hug. Or something. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. Okay, out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings of the bathroom key going missing, not this. Hey, it's not safe out there. Max. What is this storm? Why is Gwen out there? And why are you not also freaking out? Look. 
Go get yourself some water, or a beer, and I promise I'll explain soon, or try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. Gotta find a way to get close enough to take Gwen's photo. I'd be used to this. At least the motel is new. Even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle to eat. On tonight's motel mishaps, Max tries to make a grilled cheese. Accidentally commits arson. Chloe and I aren't enemies. She just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. That can't be the right time. Coronado Carver? What do we move in together? Chloe's lock picking set. She could even get me to open up. Wild that my baggage is such an on-the-nose metaphor. That's why Sophie is the poet, not me. Ah, yes. The famous mountains of Topeka, Kansas. Just how I like them. Tall, shady, and not too bright. It's past time for me to get a new one, but... We've been through so much together. No escape, huh? <laughs> Buddy, that's the story of my life. Maybe this will take me to Safi. <laughs> Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. Is this the same room? No. This is where I stayed in Santa Fe, I think. Great bag, but... Temple yet. <sighs> you guys are coming. Hang in there a little longer. Hang on. Okay, wait. This is... pretty sure this is that motel in Cleveland. Damn, this painting actually feels like dreamland. All right, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. I'm so tired. I didn't realize how tired I am until just now. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who was the client again? Or the location? I... That's the problem with moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. One big amorphous blob of motels. Like 
like some kind of nebula. Nebula, 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 nebula. I was just there. There was... Safi. This... isn't right. I get out of here if I can't even open this door? How... How do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? Now that I've traveled to Purgatory and back, I can finally see what's- I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. Hang on, Gwen. It's almost over. Stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Safi's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Always forget you're so huggy. I was so fucking worried about you. When I couldn't see you anymore, I thought it got a little hairy. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. 
We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> You know, I was pretty cool. I accept phoning gratitude. <laughs> Consider yourself fond. Oof. So, any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I've erased timelines before, but this time I think I assimilated them. I'm sorry. Oh, you just assimilated the timelines. <laughs> yeah. At least that's what it feels like. Time travel, alternate universes. Scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends? What else can you do? I don't know. Get a lot of nosebleeds? <laughs> Migraines, too. This power involves a lot of ibuprofen. What? You just seem... Extremely chill? Considering we're still stuck in a supernatural time storm. It's the little things in life. Frappuccinos, movie marathons, chilling with your bestie in the void. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too, you know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. You didn't mean to. Are you sure? I didn't not mean to. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom. I'll never be different. I think the best thing would be... Clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After your hometown got whirlwinded, what did you do? I... ran away. But I shouldn't have. It was cowardly. I've wasted years of my life hating myself, knowing that if I'd only made better choices, I might have saved everybody. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, we don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of wash-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're... fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do? Gods can do that stuff. Or... monsters. You can say whatever you want about the choices you made. 
But you aren't a monster. You're my friend. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Sophie, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic max bullshit. I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? Safi. This is maybe the least weird thing that's happened to me in days. Should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> See you on the other side. Sophia. Oh my god. Yasmin. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you Sophie, help me. Clean break. Remember? It's all right, Maxine. If Sophia wants to pretend I'm not here, well, that is her right. Sophie! <laughs> you do have a place here. People need you. I need you, Sophie. Hmm. Sophie? I don't know her. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! Keep that... that... thing... away from me! You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you can make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? I'm not your magical toy you can wind up to fix all your problems. You saw how bad things can go. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Sophie. I can. I have... Fuck, I have my, my life, everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers, 
I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one, knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now, it works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? Or you need to leave. There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you. But you'll wait, right? Be safe, Safi. She knows me better than anyone. Knew me better than anyone. The me now, though? After all this? Maybe it's time I found out who that Max is.
classic Yasmin, playing it close to the chest. No more lies. No more hiding. They're all waiting for me at the Snapping Turtle. In whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. Both realities somehow got smushed together in the storm. Now everything's the same, but not. How crazy is it that my brain can wrap around that so easily? Years ago, I would have been freaking out, but I'm okay. I'm not that same kid anymore. That storm haunted me for years. I can't let this one haunt me too. Hey, Alice. Hey, you been in there? I didn't know what to say. You start out a friendship to win a... Loretta looks like she's running on empty. I guess we all are. Hey there. <sighs> Miss Caulfield. Sorry. I'm... still kind of on edge. When the storm started, I followed Lucas to that rundown bowling alley. Shit, you were there too? Then everything stopped making sense. I'm so sorry, Loretta. I had no idea. Trust me, it's over now. So, do you also remember that there were like two of you and, and now they're fighting for space in your head? Well, it didn't work the same way for me, but that's because... Wait, are you asking on the record? This isn't for my podcast, I swear. I'm putting that on pause for now. I'm glad. There's always time for clout chasing next semester. Damn, Miss Caulfield. Harsh. But fair. Take care of yourself, okay? We've all had it rough. Right back at you. I don't think there's another world to cross over to anymore. Uh, do you still feel like shit, too? Ugh. You know that consulting job offer I got? Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Real fucking funny. I just had some kind of psychological breakdown and you're laughing. I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... 
You should think of it as a second chance. My life's fucking trash now. No thanks to you and Sophie. You're toxic, Max. I can't surround myself with that kind of energy. Maybe I'll write my own book. About this whole mess. My side of the story. Uh, well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Go fuck yourself, Max. Not there yet. My position's off. Yasmin. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Maxine. How's your shoulder? The bullet missed any major veins. But it will be months of physical therapy before I can use my arm. Yasmin, what you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... Ugh, I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Uh, excuse me, I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Jesus, campus cleanup is gonna be a bitch. Here goes nothing. Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? This is a go to your friends situation. Yeah. Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. I 
want to check on how everyone's doing first. I have to go see about a girl. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity's gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? I don't know. This isn't my first time seeing a storm like this. It's not super easy to explain. It is pretty insane. <laughs> You know, I remember rejecting you. And then you just found a version of me that still wanted you. A pretty cool trick. But kind of fucked up. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And I like you. I think I need time. Sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. One more photo for the road? Sure. You keep at this, I'm gonna have to start charging a modeling fee. Ha ha. You're the one who's been texting me for days. Well, you're the only person who was there. Who else am I going to text? Max was there. Max has... Stuff. I didn't want to bother her. You don't have... Hey, Max. Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh... My whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that. But at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. So... Max! Sorry, I just... 
You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey. Me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I'm still trying to understand. I didn't know anyone else had powers until I met Safi. That must have been a revelation. You have no idea. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? This was terrifying, but you survived. Now you know you can. You'll be okay. Yeah. Diamond's gonna be pith. Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the photos. <laughs> I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying. And disappointing. Safi was dealing with a lot. You couldn't have known. She needed someone she could trust. It should have been me. It's in the past now. I hope so. Oh, one more thing. That video footage of me. That was Safi, right? Yeah. Fuck. That girl never does anything halfway. Neither do you, now that I think about it. Anyway, I talked to the committee that fired me. There's enough weird shit that's happened, I think I can argue my way back in. I failed Safi. But there's other students here I can still support. I won't just let it go. I'm glad to hear it. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses. That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah. It w Mind if I take a snapshot to remember you by? Oh, whatever you want. This could be your last chance to take my photo. Make it count. I just want to know she's okay. Not. Do you guys mind if I take a picture? Hell yes. Put us in the next Caulfield collection. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of a cute couple, honestly. Everything's changing so fast. I'm not sure what I'll do when you graduate. You've got Tony. Tony's not you. What do you mean? Nobody keeps me on task like you. You're the only- Hey, Diamond. I'd like to get a photo for the end of the year. Mind if I... Okay. I was hoping she'd be a little more enthused, 
But... Hey, if something happened in the storm, I mean, if you want to talk about anything... I'm fine, all right. What do you say to a picture? For old time's sake? Moses has hypothermia. And now, crippling anxiety. I can never have enough shots of Moses. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? <laughs> Come on, it's fascinating. What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. Hey, we're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. What about the blue hair girl, Chloe? Are you ready to stop hiding from her? I think so. Not yet. I think it's time I explained a few things. It won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult. For all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise. This time... I'm not going anywhere. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? 
You remember me? That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice.